Hello, hello, hello. You guys should be able to hear us now. Hi. Hello. Ooh. And look, my hand is over in Caitlin's camera. Proving. Proving. Proving that we are in the same location. <laughs> <laughs> audio confirmed. Hooray. And we have only one microphone, so there shouldn't be any audio issues. Okay, pretty, pretty simple. We're doing a pretty simple stream today. We've got two phones acting as two cameras, which are going to be our sign cam. We will watch us sign with our respective pens. I'm going to be signing, and for now, Caitlin is going to be doing sketches because she's got 106 sketches to go through, which is a pretty big amount. And I'm going to be signing. We actually are currently doing 420 of these. 420 blaze it. It's a big uh, stack. Uh, oh, you mean mirroring the other, the other art. Yes, I can do that. That's a smart idea. I was like, it is. It's, I already have the stickers. But you're right. Let me see. Which the fuck is this one? All right. Um, Would it make more sense to put just put your camera on the left because you're doing the signature which are I mean, sign is a bigger deal. Um. Well, you but you're technically passing things to. Mm, me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get you. Eh. Let me. Oh my god! My eye. The wrong eye has a spot. It's not me. It's an imposter. It's an imposter. Caitlin's got a stranger in her home. There we go. <laughs> All right, friends. So, the big goal for today is to try to get all of these signed and hey, and a get bunch some sketched. Get some, get some, get some places on the side. We're aiming for ninety-five thousand on a second stretch tool. We know that it's a big thing, so just seeing how much we get. Keep in mind the backer kit also will be included in that, so that helps a lot too. Just if you know anybody who hasn't had a chance to pledge yet. This is a great time to let them know because we're uh, we're in that final eighteen hour push, uh, and definitely feel free to let people know that if they join twitchtv comic, they can hang out with us for this little this little stream time. Yeah, I think it's time to sign. All right, I want to get this in a position. I'm left-handed, so it'll probably be easier for me if I do this. Now I can. Yep, there we go. My f official first signature I've ever signed uh, for a book. Nice. I've signed a music album before, but this is the first one I've done a book. Boom, done. That was easy. <laughs> Devaluing my signature with every single one. That's the way to do it, man. Well, that's not too bad. This is easy. Oh, yeah. My mouth got covered? I don't know what that means. Busy, explain. I bet like a thing popped up and covered your mouth. Oh, okay. Fair. Let me move things around so I can see the chat better. Hey, Demon Child, thank you so much for the for the stream. For the for the sub. Thank you so very much. We appreciate it. Also, I just realized I don't have the alerts to monitor and output. I'm also going to be signing a few extra for when I leave in case there's extra sign and sketch, because there absolutely could be. Doggo zoomies. I know. <laughs> Meta can go so much faster. I picked a really good signature, actually. I'll show you guys what my signature is. So I do this, and then I, I do like a scribble. And a line, and the reason is you get an A N, which is Ari Noble, and it also looks like an M, which is Meta Joker. So it's a signature for both of my brands, which I feel pretty smart about. There we go. Perfect timing. Time gifted a tier one sub to Tonics. Hello, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank subs. you for the gifted sub. We appreciate it. Demon Child nine ninety nine gifted a tier one sub to Volt tier ninety five. Huzzah! Thank you, thank you! Bless, bless. Demon Child 999 gifted a tier 1 sub to Jesus. Demon Child 999, I don't know why I said 999999. It's like 6666 upside down, I appreciate it. Demon Child 999 gifted a tier 1 sub to Frax Alga. And yes, so I am going to be annoying this stream and saying, hey guys! Demon Child 999 gifted a tier 1 sub to Third Anguis. You're nice. I'm. Um, you're amazing. Thank you so much for the support. I'm gonna be annoying this stream and being like, if you're not anybody who hasn't checked out our Kickstarter, now is the time because we're in the final home stretch, baby. 
And I would love to eventually get those reprints. Let me talk a little bit about those reprints for those who don't know exactly what we're going to do for them. Okay, I've heard some confusion. We are not just going to be doing a blank reprint with no changes. We're going to reprint them with the changes the Omnibus has, so they will be the definitive versions. Uh, we will be going over the back section and making sure everything's looking good in the bonus content because it's very old. Some of the information might be outdated because it has, like, you know, explained stuff about the world. We're going to go over it. And it's all going to be printed on the nicer paper because 75000 was reached. So keep in mind, if we can get that bonus, it will be on the nicer paper than the previous top downs have been, which is very exciting. And if, uh, if I have to fund it out of my own pocket, it's not going to be on the nicer paper. I can tell you that much. <laughs> true, true, true. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is only if this is, uh, we're able to reach this. So it's a pretty, pretty exciting s stretch goal. Definitely kind of figuring out what I'm going to be able to manage if, uh, if we don't hit that stretch, stretch goal. Wondering if there's a compromise or something, but... I can't think of one, so we'll see. Yeah, we, we'd like to eventually reprint them. It's not like we never want to print them again, because obviously, you know, we'd like people to be able to own Softbounds. But the Omnibus was just such a big project that it had to take priority. Yeah. Also, gosh, thank you so much for the biddies, y'all. So many biddies. The biddies. And I'm glad you discovered the comic too, Dan Wolf. I'm so happy you like it. Yeah, it's been amazing seeing all the responses recently to it. It's been a blast. Oh, I put it here. Silly. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Ah, man. It is really funny watching you just do your signature real fast. I'm over here like... Eh. Number two. I've already finished almost 100. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be done pretty quickly and then I can just help support the stream. And this, my friends, is why we limit the amount of sketches, because they're very time-consuming. Privet, uh, please speak in English. It's a, an English-only chat. Um, but welcome. Welcome Thank in. you so much for joining. <laughs> yeah, the amount of people... Oh, we got a question. Oh, so what was the inspiration for Tamerlane's history and setting? That's going to be a Caitlin question. That is a Caitlin question. I uh, grew up with a lot of um, kind of animal stories set in, like, Britain, like uh, Redwall and stuff like that, and, um, and Beatrix Potter. And um, so those were, like, big inspirations for just my art in general when I grew up. And I... Uh, um, blah, blah, blah. My, I'm just getting distracted by the stream chat. Um, but uh, I, so when I was putting this story together, I decided to pull in just like a whole bunch of things that I really loved and um, inspiration from those settings naturally took its course. Uh, I was also visiting my friend in Britain and she had a uh, one and a half year old daughter at the time. Anastasia, and so I was doing a lot of research in the area and how kids are like and everything, and so Anastasia became kind of a blueprint for Tamburlaine, and basically it was just a whole bunch of ideas that I had a whole bucket of them, and I was like, what if I just put them all together? And lo and behold, excuse me, lo and behold, I did. A comic was created. That is my first 100 done. It's so much faster. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I expected do, it. Do you think, I'm wondering, would you prefer to use this time to be doing the sketches or the signatures? What do you feel like is better? I would much rather start on the, on the sketches. Because they're more of a because thing. Because I'm going to have to take a lot of time to do them, so I might as well start a little earlier. Very true. This is good, though, because I can sign extras just on the off chance. I'll have time to sign a bunch of extras. I just really don't want to risk if people, like, if, there, if 100 people decided to yeah. join back, okay, I would be like, oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, right. That's actually one of the reasons why we did creator instead of creators, because there is a chance there'll be some that just can't be signed by me specifically because I'm not here. Yeah. So better to have it say creator on the off chance that happens. But I think that's why I'm signing extra. I think we have like, a, a, we ordered a lot. There's a lot of them. Um, luckily, they're cheap to print in bulk, so. Uh, I have never heard of a game Inherit the Earth, so it did not have any uh, 
uh, inspiration for the setting. But now I want to check out the game because I'm curious. Yeah, right. About that. What is um. I'm curious, y'all, what uh, are some of your other favorite webcomics? I'd love to hear what some people's yeah. favorites, or is Tamerlane your first? I know there are some people who said it's their first time exploring webcomic, which is super cool. Hello, Gabasso, welcome. Thank you for joining. It's gonna be a pretty chill stream today, which is nice. Man, I kind of want to lower down my camera a bit, because it's really hard to see the sketches. But um, I'm really afraid of fucking up you, our precarious setup. Could we potentially zoom in, or will it just be too low for it to work? Um, I, can, I can, here's the thing. Ready? I'm going to do a magic. I'm going to lift right. this. You're going to take out some, some of the stacks. All right, go for it. There shouldn't be any issue. Let's take down. As long as... Yeah. Luckily, they can be done in layers. That actually would be great. That does look great. Hey, thanks for the follow. Look at that. That actually was a great improvement. That was a great improvement. Also, I would like to say that we are one backer away from 777. <laughs> lucky 777. Who's going to be our lucky 777? Uh. <laughs> Yay, sticker. Um, let's see. Uh, when I started the story, I didn't explicitly stay away from action scenes, really. I just happened to really like kind of less action-y stories, and that was kind of the story I was taking. However, I... I don't know. I would call that Belpy falling down. That, that, <laughs> that was an action sequence right there. Oh, uh, yeah. John um, Wick. There you go. She she was re reloading her revolver the whole time. Exactly. Um, however, as it is, is and always has been my practice comic... Um, I explicitly am not shying away from action scenes, despite the fact that they are one of my weaker skills, because uh, this is for practicing things. This is for learning how to get better, and so that uh, my next comic, which I'm going to be real, uh, after Tamberlane, every comic is going to be a practice comic, because nothing makes you feel comfortable creating quite like, eh, it doesn't matter, it's just for practice. And it goes to show that practice, like, is part of creating and no one creates a, a like i think something people don't think about a lot is that like when you create a comic or a piece of media you're not ever no one makes their novel being like and this is what i can do now that i've reached the peak of my abilities right like yeah. everything you do is practice for the next thing and if it happens to end up being your magnum opus you don't know that until afterward because that's just how that works so yep. just make stuff yeah because with caitlin and me I wish you guys could hear our story breaking because it really would give an insight into kind of just how much the story is willing to be changed and moved to make it work, but that would spoil stuff. Yeah. Um, we literally put down all the plot points of chapter five into little bubbles, into a square, like scene by scene, and like arranged them and talked about them and really made a whole. Like moved them around. It was a whole thing. And that was like two days ago. Yeah. Stories are uh, a fluid thing. I know, right? Like, I look at this and I think, wow, this is this is the practice comic? And you know what? Yeah, this is the practice comic. And everything forever will always be the... Uh... Oh no, we still have the Contribute to Cult's totem. <laughs> I'm going to turn that one off. One <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to contribute to the totem. But... Thank you. I will pre When I open up Cult of the Lamp, I will appreciate that. We call it the Cult of the Tam. You yep. should join us for those streams. They will be back when I go back yep. to join us for those streams. Yeah. Both Kakalaki. I uh, love me some Cult of the Lamb. I look forward to getting back into Tree Hollow Talks once the Kickstarter oh my God. ends. Yes. I, uh, for those who don't know, Tree Hollow Talks is a stream in which Caitlin and I, will, we used to do it, I think it was weekly back when. Uh, we, yep, every Thursday. And we'd like to get back into that where we just, I play games, Caitlin does stream doodles. And we talk about uh, different parts of story crafting and making a comic or making a story or writing characters or whatever it might be and it's a lot of fun okay, viewer rewards channel. i apologize if any of these are slightly inconsistent in size enough that like your signature will be but i think i've kept them very consistent i think i've kept them pretty damn consistent all things considered i have decided i really like the signature and it was a very good choice to make it this simple yep now i hope i'm have a chance to continue there. using it in the future there we go i have disabled the uh the the totem uh, yep, each piece is trial and error. You just keep going. 
These signatures are the same as how we do our stories. You just make them and eventually you find like your rhythm. I know I understand how to do my signature better than I did when I started doing it, but they all look the same. I luckily, you're not gonna be like, wait, what the heck is this? All right, that is the second 200 done. I'd love to, uh, I'm trying to think of what I wanna, it'd be nice, I can read the chat for example, which means you won't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, that'd That's be probably good. why I'm going fast, is I'm like, if I get these done, I can make it easier for you to focus on your drawing, which is a lot more of a, <clears throat> in our shadow, Ray Fox Fairy on Zootopia. That's fun. <laughs> I was I was really impressed when I found out that Two Kinds was created by Markiplier's brother and that it's really cool to see a family where both siblings found their internet niche completely independently of one another because neither of them used the other person's yeah. uh, fan base as a growing up point. I think it's really cool. I feel like if... Emmy and Neil Ciaciriga was the voice of a generation in the early th aughts. Markiplier and his brother were the voice of a generation in in the the early tens. They really were. You had like every young person either checking out one or the other or both. I also appreciate two kinds because I know that like. Obviously, people have mixed opinions on every piece of art, but I love Two Kinds for the fact that it has brought the idea of, like, furry media to a lot of young people. And I have found that in the last 10 years, the acceptance, and I say acceptance not in, like, some loaded way, but more like creators who were in the industry were a lot less likely to openly say they made furry content back in the early aughts. And now I notice that everyone's like, yeah, I work at Cartoon Network and I'm a furry. And it's like, cool, that's nice. I want people to be able to make their stuff and just do what they want to do. So, y'all. What y'all up to? Oh, we have hit our 778 on the Kickstarter. Oh, yay. We were very close anyway. Oh, wait, nope, 778, 778 backers. backers. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hell yeah. Thank you to our 777th backer and our 7th backer. And we are almost at 78,000, y'all. That's incredible. It made us excited because we know that, you know, the next Kickstarter will not have to be quite as ambitious because we're not trying to do a full omnibus, <laughs> which means we're like, we, this was the one. This was the big one. We were asking ourselves, can we do it? And the answer is you guys made it possible. So thank you to all of you. Man, chapter five is going to be a doozy. I'm so excited for you all to see what where it's going. It's been really fun planning it out. <laughs> the camera's focusing on my hand. Oh, no. Let's see if I do this. Oh, uh, yeah, it sure is. Maybe I need to put... If I can set manual focus. Uh, that would require... There is a way where you can press, you can press and hold? You can press and hold. Usually, at least on some phones, that would lock it onto a focus. I don't know if that's true on newer phones or not. Um, Especially because you're not actually using the camera app, you're using... Here we go. Yes. Uh, nope, that's temperature. Uh, trying to look at this at an extreme angle and upside down. It's great. See, that's white balance. That's EV. Uh, that's auto white balance. Whoop! Go back to auto. Uh, what are you? My balance locked. No. You know what's nice about my signature being skinny, Caitlin? Huh? Our signatures can both fit in here. Yeah. My old, my old signature was Ari Borhangen written out. It's extremely long. It would not have fit. Yeah. I had a long last name, and now I have an N. But you. No. Uh, what about you? No. Oh, maybe that? Uh, no. Nope. Can't do it. I'll, I'll do what I can. And I can take a look at it when uh, when I'm done here. I'll, I'll help look at it a little better. My camera's a little weird. Oh my god, I can really see how this can hurt someone's neck after a while. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm going to sit up a little bit. That's a little better. 
Yeah, that was the other reason I turned off the webcam, is I was like, we don't know how we're gonna have to constantly, like, adjust just to be comfortable. I don't want to have to worry about how we look in the frame, too. 100%. Yeah, we originally wanted to show on camera, but it's also like, it's a whole pain, and we're just doing this, and we don't want to worry about other stuff. Because at the end of the day, this is what y'all want. Y'all want the, the goods. Oh my god. Hey. We are ogres. Holgers. Onions have layers. Tamburlaine has layers. Another thing that I always thought was interesting about doing webcomics in the way you were doing them and telling your stories, how people have, people can sometimes, uh, assume a tone based on the first part of a story, when if you did that for, like, chapter one of, like, a perfect example is still Harry Potter. If you read Harry Potter 1 and then were like, I'm gonna base the entire tone of the series off of this book, you'd be like, this series will never get dark, really. Yeah, yeah. Um... It's interesting because I feel like a lot of people who are joining now are getting a much better sense of like the whole look because they're they're reading all of one, two, three, and four, so they're getting a much wider sense of like oh, you know this comic does explore some darker themes but also has like a childlike wonder. It's been a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna finish these and then I'm gonna actually give you a stack so you can tell me how many you have because you had like I gave you like a certain amount. We'll subtract how many you did. Okay. Ah, I'm having some muscle puns. How does Sanderson do this for so long? Uh, probably he's... a dedicated setup that's made for it instead of sitting on my couch. True, he's probably got a whole thing going on. Like a super nice chair. The man's machine. Pro mode instead of this. But I don't have pro. Uh, using droid cam, I assume? Because it says get pro, but I don't have pro. That's money, y'all. I'll take a look at it in a sec, y'all. Well, give me a sec. Well, not a sec. I'm gonna also finish that sec, but okay. The hamburger menu next to photo and video. Are you talking about Droid Cam? Because we're not on normal cam. We're on a Droid Cam setting. And yeah, it we're we're it. using a specific app called Droid Cam that hooks specifically into OBS. Random aside, anyone likes kombucha, get the whole food blueberry lavender. Oh my god. Yeah, it's really good. It's so fucking good. All right, how many did we start you with? 106. How many have you done so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is the eighth. This is the eighth. So 98? Yes, 98 are left in this pile. 99. You had 100. Oh, eight. Yeah, 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 so yeah, you're right. 98. So I'll give you... A stack of 100, minus 2, that is all of the ones you will have to do okay. with my signature already on them. And I'll sign these, and then they're good. All right, cool. Cool. There we go. All right. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, Video Ninja works for phone cameras, too. Uh, does it work for cameras that are over Wi-Fi? Actually, yeah, I guess it would. Interesting. Okay, yeah, we'll... we'll do that next time. Thank you, Demon Child. I will make sure to keep well hydrated. I'm gonna probably make some tea. I also got Caitlin and I some coffee. Don't forget that that's there to sippy sip. Yeah, just had a sip. Uh oh, my. You decided to give up the ghost, sir. All right, guess we're moving to the slightly darker marker. And I can also. Oh, that's not the. That's not the. Uh... No. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're over 
number 78. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, demon child. We all know that the demons are pretty chill, actually. Can I just give a little shout out to how good Caitlyn did on these? Like, these things, how pretty they are, y'all. You have it upside down. Oh, yeah, I do. I forgot that it's all reversed. Y'all, I mean, come on. I mean, my God. They're so Me, cute. I'm happy with them. Might have got them a, a bit bigger if I had... I think it's a pretty good size. They, they're they they're tough to, to do a, a decent sketch on at this size. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and, y'all, this is proof. Kaylin isn't stamping this. She's literally doing it. It's, it's, you can see why they are a limited commodity. Yep. It's a whole thing. Sulfur hot tubs in hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Uh, there were... Many. I have a uh, 106 to do at the moment, um, but uh, I, there were extras added on because the soft covers, sign sketch soft covers, didn't sell much. So uh, there were more available for the omnibus. People really like that omnibus, which I get I don't it. Blame them. It's a nice, nice thing. <laughs> One of the advantages to being a co-creator on a project, like I do Tamblyn Mithorial, is I can still be a fan of them. Like, I get so excited at the art that Izzy and Caitlin do on their work, and, like, I'm looking forward to my omnibus, and I'm like, as a fan, I'm excited about the omnibus. But also, you know, I helped make it. It's a nice, it's a nice feeling. Caitlin is extraordinarily good at what she does. Thank you. Absolutely. But y'all already knew that. The feeling is mutual. Thank you very much. I feel like what we're experiencing right now is a visual metaphor to people about why writing a comic is faster than writing <laughs> a comic. This is me writing out stuff from Ethereal. I mean, that's Izzy and Caitlin doing Ethereal and Tamberlane. Da 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 da. <laughs> And now you understand why drawing is a cherished art form. It is time consuming and it is very cool. I'm starting to think that maybe the the inking doesn't look as good as just the straight sketch now that I'm using the darker ones. Are you comfortable with that one? Or do you want to do a different one? I can reset. Oh yeah, no, it's it's fine. Cool. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people definitely still wanted the soft cover, um, but I think it was mostly add-on, and um, it's definitely there for a. Especially, I think it would have seen more traction if we had had one through three in stock. But since we didn't, that really originally we messed. wanted to include it, but it's just it's all you know it was printing so pr pricey. Printing is an expensive thing. Yeah, especially now. I mean, consider that printing volumes one, two, and three were all their own individual Kickstarters. Yeah. So doing all of them and this would be like we could have added it into the base goal, but that would have risked it failing, and that wouldn't be worth it. Like yeah. the omnibus is really special, and the truth of the matter is. If you get the omnibus, you are getting the whole story anyway, so it's better to put that out than fail everything. But we also understand people like having, you know, one of each individually, and there are people who have already owned one, two, and three, so four made sense, and for those who didn't have it, we really wanted to give the opportunity to make it possible. Yeah, there was a lot of, of back and forth when we were planning this on how we wanted to, to do this. If it was going to be just the omnibus with another one later for four, or just four with another one later for the omnibus, or put them both in one, because yep. why do we want to do two Kickstarters? Because it sure ain't me. See, 
actually do carnivores cook their meats? <laughs> um, rarely. Yeah, actually, a great example of that in the story is the reason why in chapter t- three, at the beginning, Oakwood is trying to give Tamberlane meat, and she's like, Bleh. isn't because Tamberlane inherently hates meat, it's because they're feeding her raw meat. Which, as you can imagine, is stringy and unpleasant, and she's kind of not into it, and they just don't even realize that that's the issue, so they don't even bother. They're just like, oh, vegetarian, vegan, like, and she might have been anyway, but they'll never really know because they never gave her cooked meat. Yep. It's an interesting, I get the question, though, because, like, <clears throat> you know, it already surprises people that there are both kind of feral animals and anthro animals, and they are obviously tangibly separate things. And people say, oh, do they eat meat? Like, do, for instance, does a deer, does peak feel weird that Oakwood would eat a feral deer? Right, yeah. And the answer is, n- I would say no. Yeah. Generally speaking. I'm sure there's a couple animals who are like, well, that's kind of weird. But, like, it's hard for us to, com- it's like, do humans feel weird that we eat pig? Because we're not that different in a lot of ways from, yeah. like, the biology of a pig. And we're like, no, no, it's fine. Like, some people do feel weird about it, and those people tend to be vegan vegetarian. And that probably is true in this world, too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... That's, that needs a replacement. This one here? No, that one that I just tossed. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's, it's like, ah, uh, this one I took uh, here. I've eight hours. But, there you go. When the Kickstarter survey goes out, it will involve postal information as well. Kickstarter surveys do not go out until we are ready to start fulfilling. And yes, I will I will be working on the FAQ as soon as my poor little body can handle it. I'm, I'm gonna very help with tired. that. I'm gonna help with that too. Oh thank you. I'm very tired and full of pain. Here's a little man for all of y'all. Just a little little man. <laughs> you can stare at him. He loves you, he thinks you're very cool. Did you just finish all of yours? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I feel so bad. Uh, thank you, Gunny. That's for fun, y'all. I'm going to show what happened if I tried to draw the Belfry. Uh, here, I'll take one of our extras. All right, we have a lot of these. Try real hard. All right, I'm going to genuinely try to recreate this. All right. I'm not going to use color because I'm not going to take Caitlin's color pen, but that's fine. All right, here we go. Let's start the auction for writing, boy. <laughs> oh. Wish I had a more ergonomic way of doing this. Oh, I know, right? All right, there you go. There's mine. Oh, it's <laughs> hey! really cute, though. I love Anyone it. who wants the extra writer once, maybe I'll randomly <laughs> give it to someone. <laughs> There's mine, y'all. I think I'll put that on the fridge. Way. Thank you, Crypto. I will. <laughs> the deviation in how y'all use the artist marker. I can already see how I would have uh, maybe give mine less of an eight chin. <laughs> and uh, a couple little differences. But you know what? For a first ever attempt, it ain't bad. Yeah, man. Here is the... Is that 665 picks not on the stream? On the left there? That thing isn't on there, right? That's not... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. That's, okay. th- that's just the back end. Okay, I couldn't tell. There. This is what I drew. If you guys want to see it... There we go. <laughs> it's upside down. Oh, so it's quick very question. Tricky. Let me... Oh, hold on. Oh, my God, this is really hard to do because it's upside down. There I know, go. right? Uh, it's nine. <laughs> I want a signed omnibus and a signed soft book for, but I can't figure out if I can do. Okay, so first thing you do is you pledge for a signed whichever one. I think we still have early birds. Do the, so the signed you, f- book yeah, for. The so. strat is to sign for get the early bird signed soft cover. Then when you're in the add-ons, purchase an omnibus and a book plate. The book plate is one of these. It yeah. literally is a signature. And yeah. it's book plate is separate from a signed book. We originally had a like signed book. We were like, no, you're purchasing the sticker. So signed early bird softbound, 
in the add-ons, add on omnibus and a signed book play, and you will get what you're looking for. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll tell you the secret to why I was able to draw this pretty okay. I, ever since I was a kid, when I went to school, I went to an art school. I took art classes. I did, like, actual art. I did, like, you know, mirror myself and stuff. I'm, I'm very out of practice because it's been, like, 15 years, but I'm, I was pretty good at drawing from life. That's all we ever did. I would, like, have, like, a vase and I would paint it. I can sort of do that. I can sort of copy lines like this. I can, like, no, it's not because I'm tracing, but it's similar to tracing. I can't draw from my head very well at all. If I was asked to draw this spell from my head, it would look absolutely god-awful. In fact, I will now try to draw this. I'm going to look at it for a second. Okay. I'm going to try to draw out without looking at it, and we're going to see what happens. Okay. Okay. So it's got a little fluff, a little fluff, two eyes. Okay. No, it only had one eye. One eye. One eye. Good eye. Good eye, Mike. All right, guys. Here's my attempt to do one. I already forget how she looks. Um, It's like... She has, like, a little coming down, a little fluff. There's, like, a fluff in the back. Her eyes kind of do this little thing. Oh, my God. It's already looking so demented. This is not remotely <laughs> how she looks. This is more, more, more like Oakwood <laughs> than anything. She has, like, a little fluff going on like this. Her ear kind of goes back like this. They will be shipped loose. You will choose yourself where you want to put it in the book. I wanted to see if I could get, like, the actual, like, pages of the, the book <laughs> for us to sign, but uh, there's absolutely no way that we could have done it without, like, paying for the whole thing up front and shit like that. So. This is me attempting to draw Belfry entirely from memory. <laughs> That's about my art level. When I had a recent exposure to it. If you asked me tomorrow to draw it, it would look a little worse. So, if anyone has a special request where they want me to, like, send them an artist doodle, honestly, maybe I'll do, like, four of <laughs> I'll do like four of these. Because it's kind of funny. I actually I, did... I am actually not going to allow that because the Fulfillment Center is the one doing all of this and we would have to hand them extra notes. I lied, y'all. You can't, Mine are exclusive. No one can have them. They're worth millions. <laughs> Ari, draw Michelangelo's David. You got it. Here we go. Make sure he has a little dingle. Yeah, so this is Michelangelo. Don't actually draw the dingle. <laughs> he has a big muscular chin. He's got that like, weird curly hair. <laughs> He's got like... It's like real musk. I give him a shirt by accident. Uh, he's got real muscly bod and little hands. I'm going to have his hand come up because I think it's funnier than it actually is. We're going to give him big old muscles. His hand is going to be like a little clench. He's got like a six pack and like little boobies. <laughs> and then he's got like them legs. And then like dingling. It was very vague so I can't get in trouble. There's Statue of David, y'all. There he is, on his little stand. This is actually the uh, the big fanny pack that he is holding, full of his belongings that he is carrying to hand to all of you. There you go. There we go. The Statue of David. Don't Hope get you... us demonetized. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a fanny pack. Fanny. Pack. Alright, you know what? From now on, I am doing artist requests. I will not use this pen because it's very nice. I'm going to use a Sharpie instead. Um... If y'all have anything you want me to draw, I have all the time in the world. And I'm gonna do it on the back of these the the rejects. I'm not gonna fight just like on the back of all these. Like Ari, no, Ari, no. Legally, if I drew on the back of this, they would have it, and the fulfillment zone couldn't do anything about it. I mean, it's true. You just couldn't direct to we whom take they a, get. People get cast. Someone wants me to draw accurately. Them legs and a little dingling. Yep, that's that's my uh, that's my life. <laughs> Alright, put a little picture of Ackley on my computer so I can at least look at the boy. For those who are like, who is Ackley? That is from my other comic, Mithorial, which you all should read. Uh, uh, there is a uh, link to it in the panels underneath Twitch. Yeah, uh, Izzy from the chat is the artist and she does an incredible job. I'm very lucky to be able to work with her. And I do the, the writing. I write the script. Uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, I've got a, I've got an acrylic over my left. 
It'd be a lot easier for you to see anyway because I'm using this darker color, so that's cool. All right. All right, who do I draw next, y'all? Give me another Tamberlane character. Do you draw a different character for every single one or only for a certain amount? It's just whatever I feel like drawing. Dang, look at you doing all these specials. Look at these. Oh my god, the Piper. That's so <laughs> cute. Uh, oh, because I completely fucking forgot, Gunny. That's why. Uh, let me go take care. Actually, no. You take care See, of See, this that. is what's a bonus. This is uh -huh. great. So I go to creating. All right, I will do Marie and then Ainsley. So what am I typing in there? Just typing a, hey, we're streaming in there? Uh, yeah, we're streaming. Um, grab grab my tweet and just use the the text from my tweet. And then just put it in there with, uh... Uh, exclamation point creating. Also, belatedly, uh, I think it was, hold on, did, uh, Ava Arctic. Uh, yeah, local slash in-person writing groups are amazing. If you can find someone, oh, Meta, if you are doing it, you need to manually mention the comic stream role. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, <laughs> where is this channel? Uh, What's Live? What? It's near the top. Not that far top. There we go. So I do at, uh, just Caitlin. I think you still need to use the exclamation point creating um, command first. Creating and then I put our names. Um, no, you don't need to put our names. Just put in the, the uh, message after that. And that's it. Act. Okay, Granny's gonna DM you. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't know how to do this, y'all. I'm never, I don't use the creating link. I'm, I'm never the. Or, oh, I want it. Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you, Gunny. <laughs> Bless you. Alright. I see your text, Gunny. You're good. You can send us a hello, hello to you, too. Uh, yes, they would make a uh, fun gang gang green gang. They would. Who? Uh, Kerr and crew. Kerr and crew. Kerr and crew. Kerr and crew. Okay, stream stickers. You don't gotta tell us. It's okay. Get a reaction by stepping on stream sticker. Hot da 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 da. All right, I'm gonna work on the Akali wall. Gunny's preparing that lovely message to me, and then I can see when it pops up. Oh gosh, thank you so much, Modroids. I hope you enjoy your, your comic when we get to send it to you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to read the comic ahead of time, you can check out TamberlaneComic.com uh, and read all the pages for free if you want. Yeah, though I will say, yeah, I will say, the Omnibus's version is going to have updated stories, yes. so keep in mind... If you read the version online, it will be slightly different from the Omnibus in a lot of little places, but that could be kind of cool because you'll get a different glimpse of the story because you will update on the website eventually, too. Yes, yes. So if you want to see an early version, cool. If you want to wait for the definitive, it will be in the Omnibus. That is up to you. Yep. We give you... But I did want to mention it because it's worth mentioning. It is worth mentioning. All right, Gunny. Uh, I am... I don't see Gunny typing, so I don't know if he is, but it will happen. All right, anyway. Continue to work on this. Okay. Yay, I hope you enjoy it. Go for it, yes. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Like, nothing in there is going to be, like, world-breakingly different. You'll you'll get the gist. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Caitlin did amazing on all of it. And I think I did pretty dang good on my contributions to Chapter 4. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm really uh, excited to hear what you think about it. Yes, we, we have done a whole bunch of narrative edits... Uh, we're on to the second pass of them. Uh, we've had our, our trusted confidants have given us our, our next round of edits, and we have not been able to touch them because the Kickstarter has been kickstarting. Um, it's been kicking our butt. But That's what they call it, kick. That's right. All right. Uh, in the next month or so, we'll, we'll continue working on the, the edits. We like to stream them into Foxglove while we're working on them. Um, that Fox Club Comics is the collective that we are a part of. It is at foxglovecomics.com, or you can also join our Discord at discord.gg slash foxglovecomics. Um, my brain do a fizzle. 
Go burr. Burr like her. Boom. I think I absolutely nailed that message. Good job. Oh, there's an extra T in there. You know what? I don't care. That's extra fine. T. Caitlin T. It's because I wrote cake and then... Cake Cat Cat <laughs> Um, what? As is a classic problem, I did not save room for Akali's hat. <laughs> it's going to go off the edge. I will not betray Akali's hat by cutting, by making it smaller than it really is. It's too big. Thank you for following, James Ambrose. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ping Volley. Oh no, Akali's hat uh, is giving him a... Uh... I've, I've added a little banner to Akali's hat because he had an 18 head. <laughs> he no longer does. And Cryptic, thank you so much for, for the follows. You are fantastic, y'all. And Jax the Lombax. Y'all very appreciated. Y'all rock. <sighs> I'm going to drink some of my kombucha. Ha ha ha. I find kombucha, is, it can be sometimes too vinegary, but this one really works. Yeah, yeah. Agreed on all counts. Oh, oh good, you pinned it. I don't know what I'm doing on here. Gunny says, hey, Meta, you're doing some pretty good doodles. Thank you. I made part of his wing too dark, but you know what? That's just fine. All right, y'all. Here's my Ackerly. Yay! Yay! It does look great. Also, Sunny, I briefly considered. You know what? I will do the coal who the crow who scolded Tamberlane, and then I was like, I can't guarantee he gets this, and I can't imagine being the person who's like, oh, I don't want to put this in my book now. <laughs> Here is a. I will put a tissue box. I can. Show y'all the. There's Ackley. I'm troubled. <laughs> he's having, he's having some trouble. Again, L, I can draw when I have a reference right there. I drew from a picture. I'm copying the cast list. I never denied I could do that. I could absolutely draw from refs. Thank you for joining us, Cryptic. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I hope you have a good day. And also, Ping, good job trying. That's the most important part. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm troubled, everybody, please. <laughs> the know. only way to make me happy is to support the Kickstarter. Oh, no. If we're able to hit 95,000, Ava can get her inhaler. <laughs> please, she needs it. She doesn't, she hides her problems. Turns out the wand is her inhaler and she just can't make it work. <laughs> oh, I didn't give him his bulbous body. Bulbous body. His, his bowling pin his body. His bowling pin body. There you go. That's Ackerley, y'all. <laughs> All right, Izzy. Oh, my God. Pantsaw, that's so lovely. <laughs> he said, I should have found time. I fall in love one time drawing again. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. <laughs> All right, anyone. Uh, next next request. <laughs> I will keep doing these requests until they stop. I'm plugging <laughs> Oh gosh, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, Cryptic. Very, 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 very sweet of you. Thank you. I look forward to getting back to Twitch streaming after uh, the Kickstarter has stopped eating my brain. Oh, someone said something else. Oh, yay. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. Hooray. I've been requested to draw Luigi, and I will draw Luigi.
I'm gonna draw him right now. Here we go, y'all. You're getting your Luigi. Your Luigi. The Weege. The Weege. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, Cryptic. Oh, let's see. Oh, I gotta draw Jonas. I'm Which automatically covers Demon Child's request. I'm also going on a uh, hard mode for Luigi. I'm going to draw him scared in from the from the haunted mansion instead of just drawing him normal. Excellent. So we'll see how I do. Challenging myself. <laughs> God, I even start with this. A Luigi board. A Luigi board. Thank you a so Luigi much for the board. follow, Zil Zil Sil 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 Sorry, I, it's like covered over the text, and I'm having a hard time. <laughs> hey, Apple. Hello, hello. Welcome. I was, right, I was gonna draw Jonas. Nope, that's uh, we're just we're just pretending I didn't draw that. That was awful. Uh, the nose, the nose is really hard. You gotta hit the nose right. We probably shouldn't draw on the back of those. We should probably get you some actual paper. <laughs> yeah, this is the last one, and then I'll switch over. <laughs> You're 100 right. This is very wasteful. <laughs> then again, there's something very funny about someone getting one of these and it has like scared Luigi doodle on the back. Just include a uh, a note that says, "Please enjoy this one of a kind do doodle from our 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 writer." <laughs> This isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's working fine. He's kind of Luigi. Those misprinted baseball cards that are highly valued. Exactly. That's 100% what's happening here. Let's see, how many have I done so far? Let's find out. One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen so far. Nice. So almost a fifth down. Very, very cool. Oh, hi, Waya. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Stream Draw. Ari has finished signing every one of his frickin' plates. <laughs> it did not take very long because signing a name is a lot quicker than drawing. As I'm learning by trying to draw Luigi right now. Luigi Board. Board is his official middle name now. Or last name, who knows. That reminds me, we should, like... There you go, y'all. This is my Luigi being scared and ready for his adventure in the Haunted Mansion. It looks great. There you go. He's very scared. <laughs> I tried my best. 19. Here's the 20th. Um, we should order the Mario movie tonight or something. Sure. 
Although, actually, I guess Ryan won't be home until late, and he won't get to watch it with us, so... We'll find something. We'll, we'll, we'll do something. Here is a... You can see that... Shenana Jax, thank you. As you can see, he's being scared by the ghost of a horrifying Belfry. Yes. <laughs> there is a... There's your... No, 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 that's Belfry and Prainy's Bibby. Haunting. Uh, where do I take this? Do I take it closer? No, this is the way I do it. I, they, oh, I see. Okay, there we go. There it is. He's terrified. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> yep, I'll pick things up while I'll take over. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm thinking about how in previous Kickstarters, since I was the one fulfilling them, I was able to be like, ah, this is your sketch, and this is your sketch. And now I'm like, there's, there's like, no way that I can do that for this one. Oh, yeah. There you go. I wrote Luigi bored. No, Luigi scared. Yeah. <laughs> You got a little, hey guy, y'all been entertained. I made a decision. This will be the one that I give Charlie because I can take it home with me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now it's not wasted anymore. There we go. I found a use. I will sign my name on it then. I will sign it too. And this one will go to, uh, I'll go to Izzy. <laughs> Izzy can have my, my doodle. There we go. Awesome. Oh gosh, thank you so much for Bear your Bear by out, here's a parting gift. Don't, don't cram too hard. I promise we won't cramp that hard. We'll, we'll thank try. You, have a lovely night. Hey Izzy, are you excited? This is going to be yours. <laughs> this is yours because it gets this on the back. Yay! You'll rip him apart. You'll have to rip Ackley apart to get your sticker. Don't do this, please. You have to rip <laughs> the pieces. You get the one with the Ackley on the back with the preenious Brelfi that I tried to draw. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. I go. know, right? You get this one, Izzy. As a little bonus from me. That's your special one. Actually, no, it's not the preeny ass one. The preeny ass one is mine. Yeah, <laughs> this one's go. mine. I there get the one. Go. This is my special one. So I'll sign this one, too. There you go. Here, before I forget, let me sign those two. Yes, and then... There you go. Do you want me to, to draw on the front of Charlie's? Sure. Whatever you want to draw on there. This is my, uh, my middle school best friend who uh, I do work with, and she bought one. I told her I'd give her something when I was here. I give you the, uh, the loose to sit or whatever you think would be fun. Oh my god. I, she's gonna be so happy with this. <laughs> Fun fact, she had never had a chance to read all of Tambling yet, and she bought the omnibus anyway and told me I'm going to read the whole thing. And I said, there you go, now you get a treat. Oh my god. Look what I'm going to be able to give Charlie. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Perfect. And then this is my, oh, and then you can sign that one oh, for, right. well, for Kate, for uh, Izzy. I don't know why I find it really funny that Izzy just, oh, you can, you can. There you go. Izzy, you get mine with the stars and the eyes done by Kaylin. It's technically a collaborate, the first collaborative piece of art <laughs> by the two of us. There you go. Now I have those two special ones ready to go. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Now I'm switching to... Oh, you've done so many. Look at, let me, I haven't actually looked at any of them yet. They are, I've done 20.
wow, these are gorgeous. I don't know why I like that. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me pull up the Kickstarter. I haven't actually looked at it. Y'all, we're doing so good. We're doing real good. We are at... I'm seeing this accurate too. Yep. Y'all, seven, seven thousand, seventy-eight thousand three hundred forty-seven. Holy moly! <clears throat> Are you supposed to like do a thing in the description to make it more obvious that you're aiming for ninety-five? Like you cross out the other ones and we hit, we hit on the copy. I think we're supposed to do that, right? You're supposed I mean, to like do a thing because I could maybe do something where like I take, I go in here and I oh no, that's wrong. I, I did fix the the image for the stretch goal so that it showed that 75 was hit. It's just we have a lot of <laughs> copy on our Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. Achieved. Um, we can move that to the top in these last that. hours, but uh, I'm going to have to send you the image for the, the thingy. For the what? Unless no, I can uh, just copy. I can just move the other copy later. I think. I can't. Can images be moved? Are they um, moved? Images can't be moved. That's oh, the. I mean, I can just right click and copy them and save them as they are. Cause okay, can... that works. So what would you like me to do? Because might as well. We're gonna forget. <sighs> if I don't just do it. Maybe move the stretch goal part to the top. Yeah. I've seen people do it. Like the entire stretch goal section. Yeah. Okay, that's happening now. See y'all, we are keeping it moving. This is how we do it. Oh yeah, I should probably keep an eye on if my husband is trying to talk to me or anything. And you. Welcome back, Ping Valley. Thank you for joining Ping us. Ping, Ping, Ping. Uh. Edit project, always scary. Always scary. It's gonna delete the money. <laughs> it was goodbye. Goodbye money. It was nice to have you, what we did. Oh, I haven't done Anthony yet. Don't you do this to me. Post when it. you say top, where would you like it to be? I want to make sure I do this according to where you want. We have the welcome party first, and then maybe after the book, we can put it right here. Yeah, Because that works. it's like, hey, stretch goals, we're going. We only have to, I mean. It's in the last 24 hours. We're so, so close to the end, it's worth doing, I think. All right, um. Stretch goals. Remind you to stretch, yes. Alright, um oh, stretching. Artist Tamagotchis. That yeah, that's that's true. I I also think often about the Tumblr post of um, Patreon is really just like those adopt a, a wild animal things like for just ten dollars a month you too could 
adopt a, a <laughs> wild wolf and get updates weekly for how it's doing. Turns out you absolutely can copy and paste images. It just mm. the whole thing, the whole thing's actually weird, so we're good. I'm basically picking up there, wow. and it didn't include the link, so I'm going to make sure that all looks good, and now I'm going to go and delete the other one, and we are set, so now people can see that first and know that it is a priority. Why the heck did it never let me copy before? I wonder if they've added that recently. Because it's just, I just copied it and it had no yeah. problem. I mean, I'll take it. If they, I mean, if yeah. they added that, cool. They should. <laughs> yeah, they even let me, I was even able to, like, edit, like, delete it, like, the normal. Okay, so maybe they recently, they must have recently done something, because this was, I guarantee that was not the case before. Yeah. All right, so now Stretch Goals is near the top, and I'll add, like, a little, we got our first Stretch Goal. Yeah. Um, we've hit our first Stretch Goal. Lower. And there we go. Boop. Boom. All right, y'all. Kickstarter has been updated. Now, the stretch goals are right after the welcome, so people can see what we're aiming for in the last 24 hours. Yep, that's good. Okay, cool. I feel good to have that. Well, I'm going to open up twitch.tv slash Amberlane Comics so I can actually see this chat without having to press over yours. You know what I can also do yeah. is put it on the, the Maybe TV. you change our name. Because right now it says Tamberlane is streaming just chatting, which isn't actually true. Like, maybe it should be... T oh, now it changed. Why don't I, when I opened up the, the announcement said we were just chatting. I guess it was just updated. That's, yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. I don't know why I said that. Oh, so see, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe that should just be instead should be... That's, uh, that's the game that we're playing. Uh, that's annoying. They should have an option for, like, we're, we're doing books. Look at that. That's why it's so big. Big. Desktop shifted to that being an option with the 2.0 update, whenever that was, I don't know. Yep. Cool, y'all. All right. So. Caitlin has been rocking. Oh, my God, the Anthony. Ah, so cute. <laughs> uh, Curse. Curry and Anthony, my favorite character still. Oh, yeah. I'll do the Curry. Rub Curry. It's funny how it started as a, maybe I'll just draw all Belfry, but inevitably it's like, but I kind of like drawing different characters. It's fun. And these all look so yeah. good. Isn't it cool, y'all, how Caitlin can just, like, draw a character and it's just the character? I don't know. It's crazy. Practice. Crazy. <laughs> Impossible. Practice. How Black does she, magic. How does she <laughs> do it? Also, I got to meet the actual Anthony here. Yes. He's adorable and silly. Oh, he's probably curled up behind the couch right now. He's a very good boy. Good is certainly a word. I found out that uh, one of my dumbass cats uh, once again ate floss. Uh, and I found this out because it was hanging out of the litter box with unfortunate stuff around it. Very dumb. Two brain shells and they, they split between the two of them. Yep. Oh my god! I love him. Okay, interesting question for you, Meta. When it comes to <laughs> comic paneling, would you say it's best to write a script having dialogue size in mind, or is it fine to write a script dialogue, then adjust it when it comes to thumbnailing? That's a fantastic question. Okay, I've run into this. I would say it's a combination of both. On one hand, you should probably keep in mind how long a scene is going to take, how long dialogue takes. What I did is I wrote, when I wrote volume four of Mithorial, which is still, I mean, I have like a bunch of scripts done, and chapter four, I was able to nearly half the length of it. Not by cutting out dialogue, but by doing what Caitlin recommended, because Caitlin has had years of experience doing this, which is to shorten the amount of time each line takes to say like shorten a like if a, if a sentence if a character says something in three sentences or four sentences try to cut it down to one or two so i would say always be mindful of how long a scene is taking don't have to overthink about it right you don't have to overthink it to the point where you're not writing write what feels natural and then in the editing phase prioritize shortening characters lines rather than literally cutting out entire scenes because I always in my mind thought, oh man, this scene is six pages. To cut it down to three pages, I have to remove half of their dialogue. And then Caitlin gave me the advice, no, don't cut the dialogue. Just uh, 
shorten how it ta- how long it takes them to say something. Because, you know, that's what editing is, is you're able to, like, cut a line down. And part of that comes from, like, thinking... It takes longer to... It's like that one... What's that one thing? It's like, I'm sorry for the length of my letter. Had I had more time to write it, it would be half the length. Mm, I think mm-hmm. that's what it is. Like, writing something that says more and less is harder. And that's a... that's So, shorter lines can actually be a second draft thing. Right? And, uh... Nope, it will not be gone. We will be, um... Planning to do a second run of them on the store yep. after the Kickstarter. The How- only things that will be gone as of the Kickstarter are um, after the backer kit is done, which is uh, our little pre-order store afterwards. Um, you will no longer be able to get any signed or signed sketched book plates. Um, otherwise, the leftover omnibus, I'm ordering enough to have a nice big stock uh, in the shop. Yep. And um, the other thing that is most important to, for you backing the Kickstarter specifically is if you want your name in printed in the thank you section of the book, that is only going to be Kickstarter backers. It is yes. not going to be backer kit backers or obviously future purchasers. Mm-hmm. And uh, as for di- fitting dialogue on a page, I am always editing dialogue up to like the last second on a yeah. page and what izzy says here is very true izzy and i when we are working on authorial the difference between authorial and tamerlane because I, I never really talked about the process with authorial i write the scripts and then izzy and i go over it together and discuss it with tamerlane caitlin and i plan out the scene caitlin writes the dialogue while like right before in the script form as she's thinking about thumbnailing it's more the artist doing the writing of the actual dialogue is very different from the writer handing it off to the artist to do because with Caitlin and with you know with Caitlin and I, Caitlin is writing that that those lines, kind of with the thumbnailing process and that experience is a little different, and even then it's still you're constantly updating. But with Izzy and I, she'll take she'll copy paste my script into the thumbnail, and into the bubbles and be like yeah this bubble's way too long let's shorten it and then we'll concentrate and iter- and do iterate iterating of it it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, for, for my writing process, um, we figure out all of the beats for the for the um, whole chapter, and then from there we figure out the um, the beats for a single like chunk of scenes, and then from there we outline each page for that scene, and then I write the script for that scene, and then when it comes time for thumbnails, I dump all of the text in that I I said would be in there, and then I go, oh wow, this. Uh, this doesn't fit, or oops, this would read better if I did it this way, or wow, you know, given the way that all of the readers were reacting to the last page, maybe it'd be better if I massaged it a different way. Yeah, perfect example. I'm going to draw right here. This is the reject one you handed Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show an example. So just to answer Sunny's question here, which is, do you do this piece first? Let's say I've written, I had a script, right, and it said, like, I'm going to go to the store, like, blah, 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 and then someone says, cool, will you go ahead and buy me some milk as well as a few other items that I really want to have? And then say, yep, I can do that. Thank you. Cool. And then you come here and you're like, okay, time to do the pan- the thumbnailing. Okay, so we have the page, right, like a square. You might go, okay, two characters, blah and blah. And then you can really put the piece of in and be like, hey, can you go to the store? Second one, guys responding, yeah, I can do that, and I can get this and this and this. But then you might have to be like, yeah, I can do this and this and this and this and this and this. And you're like, that's a lot. That's a lot of uh, lines of dialogue in that message. So maybe I'll shorten that. So that's what we're going to shorten. And then the other character says, thank you. And instead of having to put the thank you down here now because of how long this turned out, maybe we can short. We can focus on that. Make that shorter and then have a thank you there. So you don't have to draw the entire page, right? You can do, like, literally circles on panels like this. The basic gist of it is, you know, you you come up with the script, you iterate, you do thumbnailing, very basic. I mean, look at that. There's barely anything on there, but I already have a sense for kind of what I what's gonna take too long, right? In this case, the um, the second line is too long. So, thumbnailing is the place where Izzy and I tend to do a lot of the shortening. Yeah, I I will actually. Oh, thank you so much, local trash guy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, when I um, when I'm I'm finishing a page, that I'm usually like right up to the last second editing 
dialogue because I'll look at how it ends up and then I'll be like, mm, this might flow better like this or that. But that's mostly a product of the fact that, you know, I, at, uh, my comic process by that point is me working with myself so I can just fuck around, but if I were to needing to hand that off to someone else, I'd have to figure all that shit out a lot earlier. Oh, yeah. Instead, everybody else plays by my rules. Yeah, also keep in mind, like, because it really is stylistic, right? There are people who prefer to have more dialogue per page, and that is equally valid. Yep. It really depends on what you want it to be. Web comics and graphic novels really end up kind of being how the artist wants to express their thing. Um, Howdy, local trash guy. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, Howdy. I hope you enjoyed the animation and the, the Honeycast. We had so much fun on the Honeycast. Yeah, the trailer was such a fun thing to work on. Ashley and her team really knocked it out of the park. Because yes. they really put a lot of effort into it. Um, and I will say, because again, I am trying to be more advocating for myself. If you liked the song that was in the trailer, if you look up Tamburlaine, uh, Tamburlaine song, uh, on YouTube and look at, like, Meta Joker, which is my name on there, Meta Joker, you can see the full version of the song that I wrote as I started writing it before I joined the Tamberlane team as a fan song, joined the team, so when I finished the song, it was technically official, which was funny. So, if you like the song, it'll be on, it's online. It's also on Spotify. Yeah, animated series is something that we would love to see one day, but it would literally have to sacrifice the webcomic to have, like, one episode in, like, four years and be very expensive. So, one day. One day it'd be cool, but webcomic comes first because we have a big story we want to tell and it's already going to take a very long time. Yep. Keep in mind, for those who don't know, that uh, because a webcomic is a weekly thing, and it's 50, usually, and there's 52 weeks in a year, you usually get at most 52 pages in a year if you don't skip a single week, which you always skip a few. So there's usually less than 50 pages in an entire year, and a single chapter can be like 150 to 200 pages. So... Chapter 4 took how many years? Three and a half, four? Two and a half. Two and a half years. Two and a half years for chapter 4, and each chapter is long. So, there's, it's, uh, webcomics are big, are big thing. I mean, look how long Two Kinds has been running for. Look how long or Order of the Stick started in 2000, I think, 6, and it's running to this day. So, no, it doesn't, it doesn't 2, oh my god. I think it's even earlier. Yes, oh my god, Sunny, I love writing silly songs. That was actually how, one of the reasons I started, when I first started making music, I did a lot of goofy things with my friends for that reason. Yep, that was, uh... <clears throat> I actually have my ukulele here, just for instances like this, where you point out a song. It's the, uh... uh oh, I do, we do try and do as many pages in advance as possible. Thank you for the biddies, Mifix. Also, hello. Hello, hello. Yes, uh, not Ava Arctic. Also, fun fact, Mothorial's main character is named Ava, so love it. Um, does the team have other pages ready in advance? Yes, generally speaking, I mean, ideally, um, they're done in advance because um, Caitlin and the team work very hard to have a backlog, both to make it, you know, easier to prepare and all for breaks and such, and also because if you subscribe to the Patreon, you can see pages early. And there have been times in the past where there's been, like, up to, like, seven or eight pages in the backlog. At like the, at, There can be a lot sometimes. So if you're reading the chapter and you're like, oh, my God, I want to know what happens next, you can. Thanks for being my hype man. Always. Also, for what you just said, uh, I think it was Sunny. <clears throat> um, yes. The song that I wrote was uh, in response to Warner Brothers being terrible, which was corporations don't give a shit about you if they say they do then they are fucking lying all those dumb old fuckers think they're fine without you that is why this industry is fucking dying warner you are not worth saving warner you're about to go down you're a goner oh i messed it up didn't i warner you're completely crazy warner you deserve to go down. You're a goner. You are not worth saving. The world will be much better when you're six feet underground. There it is. That's what it was. So, so that's what Sunny was talking about. <sighs> so let me play a... Uh, you want, I'm going to... Is it cool if I play something? Yeah, sure. So, well, I figured, hey, it'd be nice to play something so you can focus on doodling. And I just you guys a couple... Here's the Kerr song that I'm working on for fun. Um, how does this start? Oh, my God. So you never remember a song when you're... I played it like an hour ago. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, um. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I don't, I don't need you to tell me I'm a lost cause. Is that too low? That's good. I don't need you to tell me I'm a lost cause. I can see it in your eyes when you look at me every day. Hope is just a day to cross off. And I'll never be the boy that you want me to be I know the truth I know that you You wish me away You wish me away You'll never choose The ones you lose The ones that you break You wish them away from you You wish them away from you da 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 I don't need you to take me to the window Looking out on a world that is sick of me You say trouble passes as the wind blows But I hear in your voice what you'll never speak I know the truth, I know that you You wait for the day, they whisper your way You never choose the ones you lose But every mistake you wish them away from you You wish them away from you Gosh, this is what happens, you know, if the lyrics are on my phone, which is being used as a camera. <laughs> Little one, I may be gone, but won't my baby carry on? I never meant to turn my face, I never meant to float away. Little one, the past is done, the thread regret is woven from my know the home. You can't replace Love will always find a place. Da 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 I know the truth. I know that you you see them in me. Who I'll never be. You never choose the ones you lose when they fly away. You wish they would stay with you. You wish they would stay with. La 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 la. So that's a little curse song I'm working on because I write songs with all the characters and things. I'm like so excited. Thank you. You know what our um, restructuring has made me realize is I need to design Penny's time jump form. Wait, no, because she showed up in chat yes. before. Never mind, we've already seen. You've seen her, yes. You've seen it. Just kidding. She's walking up. Wasn't she walking up uh, to, the house, to the to the yeah? She was walking school. up, and she was also at the camping trip, just briefly in the background. That's right. Just fucking kidding. Damn it. Thank you, Ping. And yes, I would put a campfire song. And I know it goes C-A-M-B-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. And if you don't think that then you're wrong. But I don't remember it. I uh, I loved SpongeBob. I wasn't allowed to watch it. So I watched it when my parents weren't home. So I saw a lot less episodes than a lot of people. I would find like times where my families weren't home. And they had like the, the SpongeBob marathon. So I just watched a bunch. My secret. SpongeBob kind of came out a little bit after when I would have been into it. Yeah. Uh, my dad and mom were, my, my dad especially, were very, very protective. Uh, PBS only. And um, 
Nickelodeon was too rude. Cartoon Network was too rude. Powerpuff Girls banned too violent. I was, I was very, my parents were very protective. I didn't get to watch a lot of that stuff when I was a kid. Apple, you understand me. Let's see. I was the kid who was like, um, Spongebob is really stupid and, um, way too over the top for me, so I'm just not gonna watch it. And make me, that makes me better than everybody else. You know I was what? a little shit. You know what? It actually did. <laughs> who made Tamblyn? Every Spongebob fan? Or you? Oh my god. We didn't watch Spongebob, look what we made. <laughs> There you go. One SpongeBob is the reason you are have ADHD and can't make anything. There you go. There we go. We've we've solved we've it. Solved the, we solved the mystery. You need Riddle? No, just stop watching SpongeBob. Stop <laughs> watching SpongeBob. That's the problem. I'm really trying to think of a. Uh... I do wish I. Uh... All right, Izzy. You know what I you know my songs. You should sing my Tamerlane. That is fair. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> See. <laughs> Ukulele, always, with ukulele, you're always picking a key and trying to think, what's high, what's low, what's good? <coughs> Let's see. Can't do Big Brown. Actually, I guess I could. I don't have the lyrics in front of me. See you, local trash Thank guy. You, local Thanks trash. for dropping in. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 found you in a dark place my little ghost bright eyes and a soft face as you approach I swore in the twilight I keep you safe Said I'd be your nightlight when you're afraid. I said you're my temple. We're caught in a moment I can't explain. I said you're my. I'm gonna pull up the YouTube so I can remember all the specific lyrics Cause I'm really bad at remembering the songs that I write Oh god <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna forget the, I'm gonna forget the interlude because it's repetitive with slight differences Cause I'm terrible at myself Here we go I just don't have to think about it Here we go they don't understand you It can't be helped I know how it feels to want to blame yourself But love is a slow tide The waves will come Your smile is so bright You'll guide us home So different, but we're the same. I know you're my tambourine. We won't be abandoned. I 
so you got me. <laughs> Not again. Not again. There you go. Baby falls down a ravine. The song. Yeah. Oh, I have been made a request that is uh, extremely difficult, and I did this to myself. So, let me explain what happened. <laughs> um, in Mithorial, the other comic I do, Ackerley is a bar. He sings shit. And in volume two, there's a period where they're walking and Ava requests him to play a fav a childhood favorite called Big Bound Ted. Now I don't know if any of you ever heard this the, the that one that one uh kids poem thing that's like where you press a button, press this button with Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in the button factory. One day my boss said, Joe, are you busy? I said no. He said, Puss this button with your left hand. And like it was one of those things where every time you'd add a foot and a hand, it'd eventually be too crazy and you couldn't do it. Similarly, there's those songs that, like, every round get a little faster, and the kids are getting faster and faster until everyone just goes, ah, no one can do it. So, because Ava grew up with Ackerley, I figured Ackerley has to have had one. So I wrote something called Big Brown Ted, which is my version of a child song where all the kids sing along until they can't sing anymore. Um, so this is that. About a year and a half earlier than the comic will actually show up, but you know what, that's fine. What's an easy key? Oh god, this is really hard. Anyway, in the actual version, the key gets higher every time, but I'm not doing that because that would be crazy. I'll just do it normally. Oh god, it's so oh god. Alright. <laughs> Here we go guys. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna have to pause to scroll. There was a little bird Okay, for context, a burler in Mithorial is like a little raccoon dude. Okay, it's like a little raccoon thing. Uh Fiera is a wolf. So I think of like a wolf kind of dude. And a LARPL is kind of like a bird dog. And a uh Giabo is like a cobra meets a ferret. So they're all kind of mithorial critters. It's meant to teach kids about different animals while also being a silly song. And this is my best attempt to perform this. Izzy's very excited. I've never performed this for anyone before, so here we go. 
There was a little burglar called Big Brown Bed. Had an itty bitty beetle on his big brown head. Tried to shake the beetle off him, and the beetle said, I'm not leaving, never ever. You're my big brown bed. So we told his friend Giabo, did our big brown pet. Can you get this itty bitty beetle off my big brown head? The Giabo screamed and hollered, but the beetle said, You can't scare me, never ever, from my big brown bed. So he pleaded with the larpal, did the big brown pet. Get this itty bitty beetle off my big brown head. So the larpal gobble gobble, but the beetle said, You can't tell me what to do. I'm on my big brown bed. Now I'm gonna move down because this is really fucking hard. So he begged his friend the Fiera, did our big brown head. Get this itty bitty beetle off my big brown head. So the Fiera tried to eat it, but the beetle said, You can't bite me, I'm too tiny on my big brown bed. Now he felt so very tired, did our big brown head. So he laid upon a root to rest his big brown head. But the root began to shake him off, and then it said, Get off me, I am a tree, I'm not your big brown bed. So he sat and started crying, did our big brown Ted, what am I supposed to do it to rest my big brown head? But the beetle jumped up in the air and proudly said, let me help you big old buddy make a big brown bed. Oh god, now it gets really fast. So he called the beetle, but so he called the beetle buddies in our big brown bed. Ted and he held a beetle meeting on his big brown head. Then the brother started digging, and the beetle said, "Here's a cozy little burrow for a big brown bed." Then he gave a happy smile, did our big brown Ted. <laughs> Where's the perfect little burrow for our big brown bed? Then he called the beetle over, and the burglar said, "Come and sit and get cozy on my big brown head." So if you ever meet a beetle on a burglar's head, you can bet your bitty. You, I'm just going slowly. I can't do this. <laughs> if you ever meet a beetle on a burglar's head, you can bet your bitty bippy that it's big brown Ted. Now we are the best of buddies, and it's often said that the beetle never ever leaves its big brown bed. So that's uh, I have a recording of it somewhere where I actually do all the pitch shifts and the thing, and it gets extremely fast. Um, and I love it. And it's my childhood. It's my childhood type song. So I was never gonna perform that live. <laughs> there you go, Izzy. It's been done. I did it. I've done it. Also, there was a request, if you're able, to do uh, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. Yep. Uh, I don't want to set the world on fire chords. I don't know how to do this one, but I will do it. Let's see. <coughs> how hard are the chords? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, actually, has ukulele. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Now, can I have that? I'm going to have to pay money. I don't. Okay. The chords. Oh, there's a lot of chords in this. I can at least do part of the song. Oh my god. That one is you. And then A flat diminished. Sevens. Is that not the same? Second fret. Okay. This is actually a very hard song, but I'll do my best. B minor. G minor 7th, B flat 7th, oh my god, what am I doing? This is going to be horrible. All right, <laughs> this is really hard. Then C 7th, which is, oh my god, 3rd fret, okay, kind of see it. There's going to be a lot of pausing and what am I doing here? That's pretty. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, I'll do a little bit. We'll see what I can do. So I'll do the first part. That's all I'll do. I'll just do the. Right. On fire. I I just want to start a flame in your heart. Okay. And then I. All ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to. How the fridge use that chord? I just want to be the one you love. And. But. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but with your admission that you feel the same. I'll embrace the goal I'm dreaming of, believe me. 
Okay, I'll try the first part, and it's not gonna work, but here. I don't want to set the world on. Oh, you got this chord, Jesus? Okay. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my heart I have but one desire And that one is you No other will do I'm skipping half the chords, it's fine I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim I just want to be the one you love And with your and with your admission that you feel the same I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart There you go! Yay! I found a way! <laughs> Nature finds a way. Nature sure did. That was really well done. Thank you. I remember Fallout 3's first trailer. Oh man, that Best was thing a ever. banger. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Yay, y'all. Easy there. Bake Coven. Thank you for following. Oh my god. Easy Bake Coven, you are my hero. Also, there was one who followed before that that I totally missed because I was not uh, looking at the screen. Uh, thank you very much also for following. Thank you. Also, fun fact. I'm a pianist first and a ukulele second, but you can't bring a piano on a train. P train. Plane. But I, I could easily do a cover of that song. Oh, our alerts too large. Not a pro not even hard. I could do that. Let me um, drop it. As for Big Yellow Taxi, I've heard it. Not familiar enough with it to cover it. Probably. I mean, I had time to like listen to it a couple times, but I just I'm trying not to go and like put headphones on and sit in the corner and learn something. So if I haven't lowered it. Oh yeah, thank you. Hey Peanut, thank you for the biddies. Thank you. Sorry about that, but yeah, I will do that in a future stream. Oh, you know what? Here's the deal, not Ava. I will. Um, Give that a listen uh, later on, and I will learn that for a future stream because that would be cool. Uh, anyone else have any requests? There was one for <coughs> a song I am unfamiliar with. Uh, Poison by Groove Coverage. Do not know that one. In the meantime, I'll play a song that I wrote because I can sing those ones. Uh, <laughs> and it to waste your time with metaphors to tell you why I write these little melodies for you. I'd say I'm lost within your eyes, but poetry cannot describe the reasons I do all the things I do. Don't want to live in yesterday or live a play-by-play. -play. I want to stay where everything is new. The future is the present we have yet to put to memory. I want to make those memories with you. -hoo, you -hoo, you -hoo, oh, you -hoo, you -hoo, you -hoo. Of life, a pain you always recognize, a friend you want to leave and not come back. 
I can't undo the pain you feel I can't pretend it isn't real I can't erase the beauty in the black I can be there every day and make that darkness turn to gray the color of the calm September hue. It's not about the perfect day or making everything okay. It's knowing I am here to stay with you. 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 Also, you guys are right. Ari is amazing. Thank you, gosh. Ah. Y'all should go follow him on YouTube at MetaJoker. Is it just MetaJoker? Yeah! Just MetaJoker! save that one. You get to sign me another. Alright guys, I have one I need to play, because I know every time a person plays a ukulele, then you're required by law to know this song. Thank you so much! Oh my gosh! Excellent. Alright, this is a song I'm required by law to play. <laughs> One second, let me figure out one chord. All right, guys. <coughs> I would be remiss if I didn't play the song. Sweet 
sound the call the young sailors the voice might be one in the same I've heard it too many times to ignore it some place that I'm supposed to be someday we'll find it the rainbow connection the lovers the dreamers and me Hell yeah. I fucking love that song with all my heart. Yes, take a ukulele. Everyone take a ukulele. It is a very, um, I don't want to say easy instrument because instruments are easy, but it is a very accessible instrument. Part of why I like piano and ukulele is that they're both instruments that easy to learn, hard to master. And I like being able to, because I'm a person who likes performing. So I like that I can get pretty quickly to a place where I can at least show people kind of what I'm working on. And then I can just keep going at it. And eventually you find yourself in a place where you're, and you know, you're learning new chords. You figure out how the heck you're supposed to do bar chords, <laughs> which are hard. <laughs> and a uh, uh, small trigger warning for my finger being weird. But when I try to do a bar chord, this happens. And it means that I'm missing this box. I'm double jointed. So it's very hard to do a flat thing oh, so no. it makes it very very hard for me to do bar chords i'm managing my best well you're doing great thank you yeah gunny understands thank you <laughs> but yeah do it it's fun <sighs> oh thank you yoda <laughs> You are justifying bringing it across the country. Yeah! Yeah, I, I brought it with me. I'm sure it would be needed. I'm too different from leaving. I'm like, I never played this ukulele, and it was extremely difficult to bring it on the plane, so I'm like, I'm playing it. I brought it for a reason that wasn't pointless. <laughs> it's going great. Yeah, thank you. It's also, I figured, hey, nice to give you a chance to just be able to draw and not have to constantly talk, because you're focusing That's on drawing. That's true. Also, um, how's the, the sound, guys? Is it um, peaking? Or cutting out or anything. I'm uh, pretty far from the so I'm hoping that it's okay, but yeah. it's good to ask. Yeah, I just want to make sure. It looks like it isn't getting out of, like, into the yellow or anything. Oh. Man, snowballs are cool. Oh, that's <laughs> great. I'm happy. Thank you so much, Not Ava, and I will be sure to yeah. work on the yellow taxi. And, and enjoy D&D. &D. Hell yeah. yeah. Fantastic. I'm glad sound is good. I suck at sound, so... Anything that I don't have to do anything makes me happy. <laughs> oh, boss, good check. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Octorok. Uh, thank you so much. Fist bump for fellow disability streamer. Uh, I've seen your kind comments on Twitter. Thank you so much. I'm I'm really happy. <laughs> Some are very pointed, like a clarinet. <laughs> yes. Also, uh, Cooler Unit, unfortunately, I have not heard it. I will have to... I need at some point to, like, make a list of some of the really cool songs people, I'm sure people have been requesting me, because I want to learn more. Uh, yeah, make a, make a list. Yes. A list. Hidden in the sand, my old taxi. What other songs have you written? I was thinking of doing one of my Undertale songs because people like Undertale, but I'm trying to decide which one is the easiest. I, I write my songs on piano usually, so I'm like, what song would be the easiest? I can transfer all of them in my head, but I'm like, okay, there's the. Um, there's also. Oh, I know the play. All right, I got it. Here we go. Right. So first time I've ever played this on the ukulele, guys, so if I seem confused, that's why. <laughs> 
This is a song about Azriel. When the darkness and the light collide With the pain you feel inside That's where I'll always be When the memory's too much to bear You don't have the strength to care Then you'll see what I see I play ukulele and piano When the years <laughs> and tears are lost to you When your fears have all come true Then maybe Right next to each other. We are. Ari came to visit. I don't know, yeah, I could just draw on over it. Yeah. What if my hand came in and he thought it was you? It's like, what the, What happened? It's yeah. so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad you were able to get a bed for your disability. That is so cool, after all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, clever nickname. You are not wrong. I'm just sort of over on this half of the couch, just like, meh, meh, meh. <laughs> I'm sorry that we put you to sleep and then woke you up. Gandhi, 
You need to go to bed and rest your big fat head. Funny gunny, if you don't go to sleep, I will become a creep and I will come into your bedroom when you're awake and give your bitty bat body a shake and say, hey gunny, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> There you go. There's your little. There's your gunshot. <laughs> Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, beautiful. <laughs> what a new art song just dropped. <laughs> Welcome, Appledore. Play Apple Wolf. All I know is that it goes like this. That's all I know from having this place on. We make heaven a place on Dr. Mock, you would not believe sharing it around is such a big part of what makes a comic successful. Because if one person gives something, that's great. But if one person shares with like 15 different people, that's huge. So thank you. That is just as valid and a wonderful way to support us, and it means a lot. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> Let's see. Trying to think of a song to sing, so I sing about trying to think of a song. I don't know if I can pull it off or something horrible is going to go wrong. Luckily, I'm pretty good at improvising because I've done this for very many years. But hopefully it's not too repetitive. It's going to bore the whole stream to tears. <laughs> I can basically play in the key of C or in the key of G and just sing a lot. And hopefully it's really, really good and gets in the top 40 because it's so hot. There you go. That's what I can do. <laughs> I can improvise. Work. <laughs> Thank you very much for trying to share it around. I super appreciate it. It hey, really does make a difference. If you want to, you can show them the dub, the unofficial dub, which oh, if yeah, you that's want true. to read the comic, the dub does get it, and you don't have to read anything. Oh, Gunny, I'm so sorry. You've had a terrible couple of days. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Octorok. Because I can't think of anything. Someone tell me anything to, to sing a song about, and I'll try once. I'll do it do one the time. Do Steven Universe theme. Yes. That's a ukulele. I I tried to learn ukulele for a little bit, but um, I got like the cheapest of the cheap ukulele, and it just could not stay tuned. Luckily, you could get one of these. Uh, that's With true. a case and a capo and a tuner for forty. Mm. And this is what I have. I don't. It's forty bucks will get you all. And, and nice. Scott, so. so it is one of those just a small commitment, but 40 for all that stuff is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steven Universe thinks we are the crystal gem. We'll always save the day. If any of you are really big fans of Steven Universe, I did write a Steven Universe fan song on my channel. You should check it out. It's a collaboration with someone who sang Faux Cinder. She sang the... Uh, she sang for... I sang the part for Greg. She sang the part for Steven's mom. Uh, whatever her name is. Rose. Rose. Yes. <laughs> Peanut song, I do not. Oh, a song about peanut. Okay, before I play some universe song, I'll give you an improvised peanut song. Here you go. Alright. Have you ever been to a grocery store? And been like, I do not know what to buy. You go through all the aisles, then you go through some more. Thinking which of these products should I try? You could have meat, but that's too filling. You could have cheese, but you're not willing. I don't like cheese. <laughs> you could have anchovies or tuna. Why would I give myself that fucking word tuna? But if you want something really tasty, then you can ask me and I'll tell you, sir. Tuna. There you go. There's only one thing that we got I'm talking about a peanut <laughs> You could have anchovies, it's true But peanuts are delicious and they're also good for you We have a lot of kinds And if you don't mind I'll ask you to please give them a try 
But do not give them to Caitlin Husbands Ryan because if he has them, he'll die. Or That's a lie. He actually really likes peanuts. I can have them because they're not really nuts. I lie. Give them peanuts. So the <laughs> Just only... don't give them to me. Don't I don't like them. Caitlin doesn't like peanuts. And actually, Rob Ryan has another allergy. Peanuts don't count and that's fine. So get... that makes it even, even better. <laughs> I was lying. Give them to Ryan. There you go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And you waddle away, waddle waddle, till the very next day, bum bum bum. All right, we are the Crystal Gems. Uh, uh, continue to sight. What are the freaking chords? Okay, B7 is this. Okay. Oh, I hate, I hate bar chords. Ew, all right. Is that really? That is, okay. Is there an easier way to do this? Okay, so it's so C, C minor, G, and the only hard one is this. Okay, let me see. If you're evil and you're there's immediately the hard chord. All right. <laughs> if you're evil and you're on the rise, you can count on the four of us taking you down. Cause you're good and evil never beats us. So win the fight and then go out for pizzas. We. Are the crystal gems we'll always save the day? And did you think we can? We'll always find a way. That's why the people of this world believe in Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and Steven! There you go! Yeah. I can... <laughs> Yay! I love I love the universe, it's so good. The lemonade and then sit to the man and stand. Hey, bum bum bum. Out of your roots. The man said no, as I've said before. Um, let's see. Oh, I gotta know what I want to play. I know exactly what I want to play. Um. <sighs> All right. I gotta remember these chords. I've already learned them. And they're pretty easy. What is this one? Is that actually it, or is it like? Oh, it's that. Jeez, what are you? Who does that chord? <laughs> that person does. Look at this chord. Who does this to what me? What the? Oh. No, Rebecca Sugar. I know it's pretty and weird and ethereal. I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. you for the the uh the follow time is an illusion that helps things make sense so we're always living in the present tense it seems unforgiving when a good thing ends but you and i will always be back then and I will always be back then. You and I will always be back then. Singing will happen, happening happen. Will happen, happening happen then. Will happen, see. Will, will happen again and again. Cause you and I will always be back then If there was some amazing force outside of time To take us back to where we were And hang each moment up like pictures on the wall Inside a million tiny frames So that we could see it all It would look like will happen, happening happen, will happen, happening.
morning happened and will happen again and again Cause you and I will always be back then You and I will always be back then You and I will always be back then That's why you and I will always be best friends Love that song so much. You've, you've seen, you've heard that before, I'm assuming, right? I have not actually. I have watched almost no Adventure Time. It is the, uh, it's, it's called Time Adventure, and it's one of Rebecca Sugar's contributions to it, and it's so gorgeous. It's such a good song. Nice. Love I it. liked it. It's so good. She's so pretty. Every drum she wrote. I basically just want to be Rebecca Sugar. A she, they, non binary, we stand. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Ping. Um, Walkman. The only reason that I haven't been doing songs with no lyrics, I love doing them, is I am not particularly confident enough on the ukulele to like, I can play chords, but I can't like do too much, you know. Like I kind of, I'm not good at it. I'm still kind of learning. If I had a piano, you can bet you're pretty bippy that I would. <laughs> Thank you, Cooler. Happy to bring the vibes. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, Ping Volley. Actually, yes, thank you so much. You should definitely join our community of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I have a song that I wrote that I really want to play, but I forgot the lyrics, and I I think they're only on my phone. Oh um, no! <laughs> it was relevant to what someone mentioned. Um, Gunny, you're the DM. Uh, the marker that I am using is a Posca. God, I wish y'all could have could see the uh, the game I play um, with my a group of uh, I'm a, I'm a uh, Eric Cochran bard named Gusto, and he's a he's a disaster. And sometimes I'll make up songs in the while we're playing our game that he sings, and he's it's it's wonderful. I have so much fun. Send the lyrics to Izzy or something. Mm -hmm. uh, let me think. What else can I recommend to you? Uh, someone said Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow. That's a good choice. I might do that actually. I like that one. Oh my god, Gunny, you're right. We really should do that at some point. If you consider has played it a handful of times and enjoyed it, but never really took the time to spend the money or really play with a lot of people, then yes, I play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> and the last time I played was like... Six years ago? 
But I enjoyed it. And I, I get it. I really not have a version of the song literally anywhere else is singing. Did I never record it? Oh my god. Uh... Every time I want to get into a, like, competitive collectible card game, like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or whatever, and then I look at my wallet and I go, maybe not. <laughs> Wait, what am I talking about? Somewhere with the Rainbow, of course I've done that on you guys. That's like the most requested song I can do that. For some reason I was thinking, I was just, my brain was just stuck on the uh, original song. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard it. He out the Hawaiian version. Fun fact: He literally got that guy. Bless him. Got in the middle of the night. Called a guy. Said I have to record. I just feel like I need to record it. He went over there to his house and he did it all in one take and went home. And that's the version we have. That's um, incredible. It's legendary. It's actually why a lot of the lyrics don't rhyme. Is he got them wrong during the recording and was like, this, "That's fine. That's it." These are in own order. Let's see. All right. Alright, let's see. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, and the dreams that you dream of once in a love, love. Everyone's favorite ukulele. Oh yeah, 1931 version is the greatest thing ever. My favorite version of it is extremely depressing because I'm I love extremely depressing things, which is uh Julie Garland singing the song later in life after basically all of Hollywood had screwed her over because of Peter Valley. And she's an older woman singing it, and you can hear the like She's seeing almost like reminiscing about what could have been, and it's really emotional. It's like, mm. oh my god, it's the whole vibe is different. She's basically seeing it as like, why couldn't I have had that? Yeah. And the pain of it is so real, and she does a beautiful job. Um, but all versions of that song slap. You should watch Cooler Unit. Watch for the Devas. It is very good. I'm sure there's parts that have aged like milk because it's a 1939 film, but it is a really cool movie that feels way newer than it is. It's very impressive that they made that happen then. Yeah, I got it. Oh, 
<laughs> it's true. We are quiet as I try and rev my brain up to, to draw again. And Ari picks another song. So I'll play a little bit of a song that I wrote in 2020 that I should have released in 2020, but I didn't release in 2020, but it's kind of a time capsule. I'm having a rough time. I haven't seen your face in several weeks. You tell me it's all right. But that's not what they're saying on TV. I cannot sleep all night I'm nervous every time my throat is sore And maybe in hindsight I should have held you close a little more But I'm too scared to sleep right now And I'm too tired to run I really think I need to sleep till 2021 And I've got a lot A lot on my mind right now I've got a lot A lot on my mind right now I don't want to go around I'm so scared that they will fire me. They fired me the day after I wrote the song. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's the song. Yeah, I wrote a song during COVID. Uh, but I wrote a song the day I was told that we couldn't leave the house anymore. And then I played it all during the con, the online con stretch. Because it was like the song, it was like the anthem. And everyone's like, play 2021. And then 2021 came and I'm like, well, shoot. Now the song is pointless. So I just, <laughs> I didn't release it. So it was a very special con song. And I should have done it because it's a good song. Um, but I didn't release it. But I love it. I still think it's very good. Um. Hey, y'all, look at that. 78269. Whoop, whoop. We going. Wee. Wolf, if they send me extra copies of the map, uh, there will be some sort of way to get them. But I, it will depend on if the printer sends me extras. Um, and I don't know if they will be available at all again in the future. I don't want to make promises either way, because uh, it is technically sort of the, the big exclusive deal for this one. Um, but also sometimes, you know, after a couple of years, it doesn't quite matter. I don't know. I, I'm still figuring things out. Marketing's hard. I will, oh my god, Elle, it's I'm not going to say what it is, that's absolutely incredible, Elle. I, I need that shirt. God, wow. <laughs> it's so good. Sorry, Elle, it is. <laughs> I know that's incredible. I love it. It's very good. Incredible. Incredible. Thank you for that blessing. Um, that's true. There's definitely going to be other kinds <laughs> of maps. True. And yeah, you guys should definitely check out the, the dubs made by Voltaire and Spotted Martin. The chapter one dub is on Voltaire's channel, and the chapters two and three dubs are on the Spotted Martin channel. Fun fact, I have, um, I'm intending, I'm working at it, I'll see how the time works out with their plans. I want to do another Tamburlaine song that they can premiere during their Interesting. dub. Interesting. I think that'd be really nice. Um... We, they want to do it. I want to do it. It's all about timing. The Kickstarter took a lot of time, but I'm coming up with ideas for a song right now. Yay. Something about water and rivers. <laughs> all I know is something about like life is a life is a water. Wait, life is the water caught in the river, but always forgotten. Can I forgive her? Something and something. I don't know where I'll go with that. It's really sad if I like River and Forgive Her. I don't know. That's how songs work. You're just like, shit, that's okay. We'll see. I'm going to write when I get home. But there will be more music, y'all. There's going to be other songs. Exciting. Oh, the Curse song, I wrote it. I just haven't done anything with like backtrack and stuff. I'm going to figure that out at some point. I'm not sure what style I want it in yet. 
I'd love, love to do an animatic style thing with it, but that's a dream I'll have to think about. I really love, uh, I love Kerr's like, favorite, so I want to write a good song for my boy. <laughs> Gunny, you and us both. Don't worry, Gunny, I also like trauma in my comics. <laughs> When somebody dies, I say, oh my god, that was iconic. Okay. Yeah. I uh, I would love that one day, Wolf. Um, I really do like writing songs for individual characters. And, I mean, Mithorial. If y'all like the idea of comics with music, one of my big things in Mithorial is that every volume will have at least one song sung by a character. Some of them are diegetic, like a character singing ukulele or a lute or whatever. Some of them, usually accurately. Some of them are sung almost musical style because I just like musicals. And people might say, hey, you can't do that. That's, that's not how the comic works. And I say, shut up. I can do whatever I want. It's my comic. Correct. So I already have written songs for like three of the characters. One of the songs I've written won't appear until chapter fucking six in Mithorial. But I have my song. It's mine. It's good. I like it. Mm. Um... I have to, I always have to give credit when I say why I do music and comics, but I always think of a big uh, asterisk, which is I was inspired by the comic Trent, written by Dino Stanatopoulos and a couple other people. He's also my moral oral and did, he played Starburns in Community, if anyone has seen Community. And Dino Stanatopoulos made Trent, where you would literally get the graphic novel along with a, either a copy of an MP3 or a CD, and you'd read along with the musical, but it is genuinely the most grim, horrific triggering for a lot of people comic about grief I've ever read. It's extremely good, extremely dark. I wouldn't recommend it to most people because it's very intense, but I can't not credit how good an idea that was, where they literally wrote an entire musical as a graphic novel. So I uh, I want to have Mithorial have moments like that where it's songs. I think it's really cool. I think Belfry would like a... Uh, Female singer-songwriter. Belfry would immediately be like, I like Dodie. Yeah, exactly. Some would love Dodie. Yeah. I'm a British female singer singing about little lovely songs. Oh, but sometimes the songs are sad like me. Exactly. Oh, Dodie. So I you're saying, Dodie. What you're saying is Belfry is me in high school. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and then she'd hear the, the Dodie Eminem uh, collab and be like, what? No, I don't like this. And then, oh no, this is so deep. I like it a lot. <laughs> was there one? Uh, I'm pretty the sure. Up, the mashup, at least. Am I? Am I imagining the one where they? Hold on. Am I? I do have the right. Dodie is who I think it is, right? The ukulele songwriter on YouTube. I'm thinking of someone else. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking of the person who just plays on YouTube. I think you're Regina Spector. No, older. Uh, Dodie's like Dodie's like recent. She's a YouTuber. Oh, okay. No, then I'm thinking of someone else. I was like, oh my god, Dodie Eminem, please. <laughs> no, then who the fuck am I thinking? I don't know. My brain is a fried. I really want to know who that is. I'm going to find a way to do a Dodie Eminem uh, mashup now. It has to happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. You're gonna be like, oh, that person, and then. Oh, do you know what song it was? Um. Was it a, was it an older song or a recent song? Do. Oh, uh, you're talking about. Are you talking about the song Stan? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, that's, that's Stan. Yeah, um. Dido. Dido, Dido. Dido, okay. Yeah. Dido, okay. I do not Dido. feel bad for mi missing those no, up. That's very fair. Okay. It reminds me that it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Dear Slim. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Uh, Belfry's favorite food is crickets. So Belfry's favorite two singers are Di Dido and Dodie. There you go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Dido. There we go. Dido and Dodie. Okay. Thank you. I was in choir for many years, and I love to sing, and I'm also very shy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I love to sing. I was in choir in high school. I was shy, but uh, forced it out of myself. I had a desire to make music because, unfortunately my art required me to mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> that also, reminds me of my dad who had crippling social anxiety and his uh, solution for that was to become a trial lawyer. There you go. That's how you do it. 
Also, oh. yeah, 7360, another hundred bucks added. Heck yeah, baby. We're moving, we're moving. Uh, let's see. Red is not so bad. It's not so uh, when I was in choir, I went to a school that had a, was very, very small. And so we had a choir that spanned the entire high school, but it still only had like 30 students in it. Um, and so the tenor section, um, since I was contralto, consisted of three people, uh, a new, uh, a freshman who was still learning how to get on pitch, uh, a senior, no, I think a junior who was, um, always at baseball practice instead of choir, and me, who became the de facto head of the tenors. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Oakwood totally loves old jazz stuff. I actually, th I also imagine that Oakwood genuinely loves hip hop. And that because it's because he's like he's really into the poetic lyricism. I think that he's a words guy. I think, but he's yeah. embarrassed to admit it because it makes it think he thinks he makes him sound like like too youthful. I think he he likes certain kinds, um, for sure. Like rap, rap and hip hop. Um, because as a as someone yeah. who is currently who I personally think. I'm obsessed with rap and hip hop, and you wouldn't necessarily think it, but I love I f love the stuff. And I'm like, oh, what I get you. Jazz is so cool. Also, probably because just a lot of jazz. Uh, I mean, Kendrick Lamar and jazz and hip hop combined mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also, side note, I uh, now I don't remember what I was gonna say. Uh, it's about this very topic. Oh shoot, it's gone. It's go oh yeah, um, uh, it was something about choir. I was in choir. I did a. Uh, they used to do honors courses where we would have, like, the top 100 students in the state would be in a choir, and I was selected. I was really into Aww. choir. I was very interested in choir growing up. Um, yeah, I really, uh, I love, I love songwriting. I love singing. Alexia Knight, I, I feel for you deeply. Oh yeah, there's lots of religion. Um, in fact, if as you read the comic, there's lots of times where people use religious uh, epithets, um, but religion is not really a group activity as much in the Tamperverse. Um, it's very much more personal, and there's a, a temple where there's lots and lots of different little altars to different religions, and everybody goes, and it's there's much more of a community of like everyone together as a community rather than everyone as a religion as a community. Also, nickname, thank you for dropping by. Have a lovely night. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are interested in knowing just a little bit more about the religion into Tamberverse and like the kind of way it's handled, you can look at the Kerr short story which is probably going to be in the omnibus, I believe. Yeah, it is going to be in the omnibus. Where we talk, we see kind of what Kerr's home life is like and where he stays, and we will get a glimpse of the inside of the church, which is a non-denominational church that is more of a, a spiritual place that anyone of any faith can come. I don't know if it's non-denominational so much as pan-denominational. Well, I know, for instance, that, like, Baha'i, as an example, does not have churches. Okay, I mean, so that's So by fair, definition... Yeah. If it includes all religions, it can't just be a church, but rather well, yeah, be yeah. a church, but also a spiritual place. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, think, that's fair. I think it's really interesting. I love the idea that it's less about separate belief as much as a celebration of belief. Mm -hmm, I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but that let, let us not say that the animals in Tamberlane have everything figured out when it comes to their belief systems, because you'll have seen the way they talk about abroad and about the idea of humanity and the idea of each other and there are problems they are not super chill in some ways but they have got some things figured out that's what i like about the tamberverse is that not everything is chill <laughs> as you guys have seen from some of the uh the jensen shenanigans he talked about abroad and got in big trouble surprisingly that megaphone uh is quite uh i made specifically sure to model it off of a megaphone that does not have battery or electricity also i'm just gonna say for I, I, there's no reason to point this out but if anyone's imp impatient about the Kerr story and wants to see it now it along with many 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 other incredible tfts with a lot of diverse artists um uh, tfts are short comics and short stories yes tr uh, tfts are tales, tales from, from tree, tree hollow. hollow and you can check those out on the timberlane store where you can buy them 
And you'll actually be supporting both the writer, who is either me or Caitlin, and the artists, which is really super cool. And there's a lot of really cool stories in there that some of them will never appear, as far as I'm aware, printed. So uh, yep, yep. if I you mean, want them, at I least I, I can't promise they will be. Yeah. Some will. Prose ones are more likely to be because of just rights about selling books and stuff. Because every artist, we can't go after every single one and chase all of them down and say, hey, you did this thing for us one time. But we can say that they're available on the store and they're very good and there's a lot of really cool ones in there. So and if you are out. a fan of either Ozzy and Millie or um, Dana, or not Dana, oh my gosh, uh, Phoebe and her unicorn. Yeah, Dana Simpson's work. Dana Simpson has done one of the tales from Tree Hollow. I can tell you that one of my bucket list items being crossed off was getting to work, my writing getting to be associated and working with Dana Simpson, which was so cool because I love her work. I see it at my Barnes and Noble. I know where her books are. I always go check them out. Yee. Uh, okay. Let me see. Before what? That is f- what? That's so fun. That's awesome. I'm such a sucker for fan fiction. How many have you done? I'm gonna find out. One, I'm, two, three, oh. four, five. Six, I'm gonna count to make sure we have it correct. Nine. Okay, here's ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Twenty. One, two. So I have done exactly half. We have 54 literally here. So there's actually like one extra maybe in here. Or I missed yeah. but I think you've done exactly half. You, you had a good sense for it. How long has it been? It's been two and a half hours. So yeah. actually, that's pretty reasonable. Yeah. I think I can go for like another half hour and then I'm going to tap out. That sounds great. Yeah. <sighs> Y'all, we are moving. Yeah. Was this a, uh, a reject? Uh, yes, that one was a reject. Did I give you a replacement for that? You I did. I, I think you did. And this one too? I think I did. You did. <laughs> Them <Bonus> rejects. <laughs> just gonna add the statue of David. <laughs> Clearly one of the options. <laughs> Have a Thank great you, time, Wailu. We love you. And my hands aren't getting tired, but my back sure is, because uh, we're sitting is on a couch. Is there any way that we could switch over to having a stand-in there and we're not streaming you doing it? Because we can do that. There's no reason I have to see every single one. We're still talking. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Let me go grab your stand, so for the last 30 well, minutes, at least you can have the... I have one right here that I can use. Yeah, should I grab it, or is that something you can reach through there? I'm pretty sure I can reach cool. it. Cool. I suggest we do that. I think... You can also move the camera to point at it from here. Mm. Like, it just seems silly to be having to, like, do this, when you could do this. That's that's true. Um, uh, don't don't move the camera because I'm gonna have to like curl up on the couch and all sorts of shit. Um, but I will put the finished ones right here under the camera, and then y'all can see that. And then my back won't die. That will be great because I like not having a dead back. At this point, this makes sense. Like you know, you'll probably get a lot more done this way anyway. Probably true. Because basically, we have a um, a table set up in front of my couch. Yep. And in order to reach it, I have to lean super far forward, and it's already a pain day, so I'm just like, oh no. Oh no. I hope you guys enjoy my little my little fellows. I made a few fellows for you in my comic. There you go. I like your fellows. Your Thank fellows you. are great. I love making fellows. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, silent NBA. Your silent. human fellas. Your Thank fellow humans. Thank you, seeing NBA. Yes, yeah, thank you for stopping in. Y'all are incredible and have good pasta blaze of spikes. Enjoy your pasta. You know, we should just stream more. Yeah, we really should, yeah. Like, I'll play games and stuff. I and know. Like, we just do that more. It's fun. It's chill. Part of it is that we think of Tales from Chihala. Oh, it's like Talks. Chihala Talks is being like, oh, we have to talk about, like, story crafting and stuff but it's also cool to just vibe and it'll be nice to work on art in a way that people can kind of like, hang out and stuff yeah part of the issue has really been that so this is the comfortable setup down here in this room um and in order to draw on this tablet i that chair is usually over there and i have to move all of the the things over and then i can't sit like this and i have to sit in like upright in there and then I have to make sure that the OBS is right. And so that's it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Yeah. And that's why I'm always like, oh, God, if I set up for streaming. No, one option would be can you sit at your normal setup and just be on mic and, like, screen share? Is there... I mean, I can do stuff on my normal setup, but usually I can't 
easily be on mic on my normal setup because Ryan's working in the same. Oh, room. you're right. That's right. So it really depends on when we would do it and like what we'll be recording. Right, it. and then so if we did it in the evening though, then I've already worked all day and then I'm fucking tired. Yeah. Well, we'll eventually figure but it we'll, out. We'll figure it out because I really want to do it. And I, think I really it'll be... enjoy it. I just need to figure out a better way for this setup down here to work. I also have uh, considered. I probably shouldn't say this on stream, but it's, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just talking aloud. It would be cool to eventually do a thing where we can like, you know, bring other kind of do what like you know Tracy and Ashley do, where we can talk, yeah. bring people along who are artists we think are cool and just talk to them and ask yeah. them about the thing. I just like doing streaming stuff, and I want to. I'm gonna have a much better setup in my new place when I get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have two. Or for some reason, our bedroom has two really large closets that are like walk-in. Oh, nice. I'm gonna convert one of them into a. Uh, Music studio. I'm gonna have like oh, the pads awesome. all over the walls. I've got plans. That's cool. I think, um, so I do have my iPad, and I do know you can stream from your iPad to a TV or to a computer, and that would work okay. That'd be great. Especially because um, you could, like, I mean, I guess you could do, like, it depends on what you want to work on, because you can work on pages or you can just work on, like, you know. I can't really work on pages on Twitch because I'm always far ahead. Um, you can at least work on, like... But I can do, like, doodles or I can draw kinda, like, raffle pictures or... Yeah, raffles are cool, too. Um, oh, I remember now. I was going to say earlier, which is that when you mentioned Dido and uh, all that, I immediately was like, okay, Dido. I'm imagining Anthony singing the... Mood is not so bad. It's, it's not, not so, so bad. bad. And then Piper... Dear Slim! Yeah. <laughs> I want Piper being the rapper to Anthony's Dido. Oh, my God. Yes. Rapping Piper, oh my god. I can already see it with a little backwards cat. Dear Slim. I can just imagine her annoying everybody in town by popping up behind them going, With a real Slim Shady, please stand up! Please stand up! Please stand up! And of course, she'd get in big trouble for some of the words she would say. Oi, numpties! That's how she starts her raps. That's right. Oi, numpties! Oi, numpties! What's hanging? Boop. Just hurting my leg quickly. Yeah, smart. Doing a quick little walk here and back. All right. A walkie. A walkie walkie. Dogs need their walkies. Dogs do need their walkies. I gotta check on here, see if my boy has said anything. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I'm going to write a Piper rap. It's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> We're imagining it. Oh, I know. What's hanging? Something, something, something. Probably going to rhyme with banging. <laughs> <laughs> and you just hear it, you're like, Piper! <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I gotta unearth that um, short story I wrote a couple years ago that was Piper narrating her disappointment at being grounded. Oh, it's so good. Did we ever finish that one? Oh yeah, it's finished. I, I wrote it as a, just like, a drabble for something. And uh, I posted it on Patreon many years ago. I remember that. We should, uh, we should, we should make that into a thing. We should. We should do that. I actually have a place for it. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll write it down off stream. Thank you, Sir Bat Dan. <laughs> oh, okay. Boom. It's perfect tonally for that. Yeah, that's true. Very true. All right, y'all. Secret reveal. Did I just write an unfinished one? No. 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 Okay. That was, I was like, <gasps> that was a rejected one. That yeah. was a oh a belfry. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what do you guys? What's wrong with this belfry? Chunk belf. This one was pretty good. This one was pretty doable. Oh, it was all right. Yeah, it was okay, but like she, her, her snout got real bulky on that one. And Marie's like, "Hi guys. Hi guys. I got tiny arms." <laughs> Very good. See. Kaylin has high standards. You're getting the best of the best. Yeah. And the and the one the de the the, de the defect ones go to me to doodle all over. That's right. <laughs> um I'll do a tangerine. Come come on. Come on, Pen. Come on. You are brand new. You have the paint to do this. I believe in you. 
Oh my god, I must imagine the Empire being like, put your paws in the air if you're grounded! Put your paws in the air! Some <laughs> stupid shit! Put your f- dumb, dumb shit! I already have it all. I know, I know what I'm gonna do! I know, a horrible Piper rap. It's happening. I'm gonna let Meta dispose of the defects however he wishes, because <laughs> due to the complicated nature of the Fulfillment Center taking care of things, I cannot pass them on to anybody. If one of what happens to defects, they get, they get, like... They get shit like this. <laughs> they get little men. They get little dudes with fanny packs that don't look like fanny packs. Uh, Peanut, her floof is made of cloud. It's made of a cotton candy. It is as sticky as cotton candy. Do not get your hands in it. Oh no, it's like a, a living fly trap. Oh god. Ooh. Suddenly this went from adorable to horrible. Oh my god, it's like, you know those metal sponges you can get? The big bo- yeah. It's that. It's like st- stringy and harsh. Stick your face in the coast. It's like a thorn bush. Oh no. Oh my god, her fluff is a thorn bush. There's little thorns in it. You gotta be careful. It's soft except for the thorns. Cryptic Nine Elements gifted a tier one sub to the underscore holy underscore peanuts. Thank you. This is their first Aww, gift sub on the channel. No, unfortunately, un- unfortunately, we can't. I actually them. asked that earlier about hey, can I ask extras? And the answer is we would if it was us, but we aren't doing it because the fulfillment center is, and we're not putting more work or confusion on them because they're not. It's not going to happen. Like if we give them, it wouldn't get sent properly, um, and it would just lead to confusion. So we're just gonna. I mean, basically for every extra complication that I hand to the fulfillment center, I have to pay extra money so that they can do the the logistics. And this is definitely not worth that. So, unfortunately, nope, it's not going to go anywhere to anybody. Um, and for- also, Belfry could glide for a short distance if she had the right uh, Another one of my Chekhov's, Chekhov's wings. My current, my main one is uh, Chekhov's skunk, where I insist that Marie at some point be very stinky. Because he's a skunk, and it's ridiculous, and no one has smelled the stink. There will be stink. <laughs> like that, you know, there will be blood, there will be stink. <laughs> I like how slowly but surely the stack of the stickers gets closer and closer to the camera. I can create the illusion by uh, turning this upside down so there's no confusion. There, y'all, now you can really see it. Look at that. Look at the yeah, close. Look at that cool doodle. Oh, people will see them. It's so pretty. <laughs> I will, uh, for anyone who joined recently, I will, uh, I will shout out my other webcomic, <clears throat> Mithorial. For those of you who finished Tamberlane and want to read more, Mithorial's been going. It's a fantasy adventure comic about a bat. It was a coincidence. <laughs> I actually hadn't read Tamberlane at the time I created Mithorial with Izzy. Um, and we were like, bat, same, same hat, bat, same bat. <laughs> um, same bat. It is a comic about a bat and a bird, uh, who are kind of like a father and daughter uh they have that relationship uh adopted but on a on a crazy fantasy adventure that's gonna be pretty pretty wide spanning and about four chapters are currently written of which nearly a full one has been released on the website we're still going it's gonna be weekly we were on a small hiatus but we will be back real soon so now's a good time to catch up and yeah i I work on tamberlane and on that so if you like tamberlane you might like mithorial it's on the fox glove server and you can check that out and your support is always appreciated there are other (laughs) comics with a bat um for example star warriors has a bat and uh who's the bat in calzeria squinting is there a bat in calzeria probably in the background somewhere at least. And then, uh, yeah, Preenie explicitly... Oh, okay, yeah, bats in the crowd scenes. And Preenie explicitly does not have bats in its world, but Preenie is delightful and wonderful in a love letter to um, a young artists <laughs> and, like, DeviantArt adopts. You know, I, uh, I genuinely am obsessed with Preenie, and I've talked to Momo same. about how I need... I have a need for a physical copy of it. Oh my god, same. So basically, the whole gist of Preenie's deal is that it is this adventure story. It's very cute and very fun about a girl named Preenie who is on a little cat girl who's like a little, she's a little fluffy cat who is on an adventure to save the world from a dark thing that has seemed to take over their world. I don't want to go into details because I don't want to spoil it, but I will say that one of the main conceits of Preenie is uh, Momo will go on DeviantArt and will find young creators who are putting up adopts of their characters 
and she will buy the characters, put them into, you know, give them tweaks to fit in her world, put them in her world as characters with like credit at the bottom, so you can go see the original creator. And so her world, her character, populated with all these deviant art adults, and it's so cool, and it's so fun and creative. And uh, I can say from having talked to Momo that the story is going to continue to just be cooler and cooler as it goes along, and it's extravagant, and you should check it out. Uh, then there's Calzaria, which is the like most epic fantasy vibe story on our thing. Like it's a really classic fantasy, very very cool. The art is gorgeous. Neon has done a great job with it. She's an incredible writer and creator. It's been on a hiatus, but all the support that you can get to help bring, continue the story is very good and appreciated, and it's really, really good. It's also got a, uh, by far, to me, the most, like, I almost like Wheel of Time. Like, it has that yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, Which I think is really cool, because I, I wanted, I'd like to have a classic fantasy on there, just give it her own twist. Then, of course, there's Star Wars, which is the longest running of the comics. Star Warriors. What did I say? You said Star Wars again. I said Warriors. Warriors. That's why I say... Uh, I think I'm Southern. I'm Southern. Yeah, you're Southern. Wars. Wars. Star Wars. I grew up in the South, y'all, and we say Warriors. War That's actually true. That's how we say Warriors. Wars. Warriors is how we say it in the South. Okay. We say Warriors. Star Warriors. Rhymes with voyeurs, not vores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Star, Star Warriors. Star Warriors. The Just longest running comic on the Fox Club server it's not my fault that her name sounds similar to a less good sci-fi compared to Star Wars. Star Wars is better than Star Wars. It sounds like <laughs> I said Star Wars is better than Star Wars, but I didn't say that. Star Wars is great. It is a story about creatures who have, and people have died in the real world and are now kind of in this, like, almost like, it's not, I wouldn't call it a, uh, limbo. It's not. It's like, it's like an it's like a, 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 a extra liminal universe space and they're basically helping fulfill wishes and it's a whole epic, epic story and it's really cool again don't want to spoil it it's very long running they're going through this really cool rewrite where they're doing all this like, extra work to like revamp which is really exciting so there's that and i think is that all the comics is uh that... it is they they finished their major revamp so all of the edited pages are up now um however they have just finished their story bible so they're going through one more pass for some very minor edits <laughs> To make sure everything fix fits up. Thank you, Guy. It's a much better description than I was able to give. I'm really bad at summarizing. My, I never can summarize mine well. Timeline is useful because it's like, bat gets baby. Boom. Check it out. Um, But yeah, all of them are really good. You I'm, are you are almost there, Peanut. She's 5'5", five, five, not counting the ears. So it's cheating, is what it is. Yeah. Hey, 785. Wee. Mothorial. A bat and a bird and a crazy fantasy adventure to destroy a being older than the reality than reality itself, while also dealing with their family their fa found family issues and journeys along the way. There you go. That's, that's pretty decent. And as a hint of music, there's some fun fantasy. There is a cosmic story going on as well. And it's got lots of uh really good art because Izzy's extravagantly amazing at it and she deserves all the cred for that thank you Gossa. that's very sweet hugs back to all yeah you think Mithorial is a mouthful to explain the original name was Oath of Mithorial which is a mouthful to say so we cut it to Mithorial because uh, it was like oh that's the only word that if you search on Google nothing else will pop up that's the trick that's the trick there for making go. a story fun, fun little trick for you all if you ever create a story if you can come up with a very short phrase or word that it is the first thing on Google, you're in good shape. Every day I curse the fact that I didn't pick up Tamberlane.com when I started it. Is it taken? Uh, it was, I mean, no, it is held for ransom. One of those. Someone else grabbed it and will get it? Yeah, it's like, you can buy this domain for $3,000, and I'm like, you can eat my butt. Wait, are they someone who, like, did that on purpose? No, I mean, it's just one of those things where they they have bots trawling for um, decently decently trafficked, unpicked up domains. Let me see if Tamberlane is in, at this point, it's, uh, it's no longer an issue. Yeah, it's fine. I just was like, oh, I wish I had The domains are $2,095. I told you, dude. That's horrifying. Yes, it is. And every time we visit to find out more, it goes up a little. I'm going to look at Mithorial and see if it's taken... <laughs> uh, there easy, you go. Easy, we gotta get on that fast. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> hurry. 
Uh, to buy website space, you go to someone who sells domains, such as, um, uh, like I use DreamHost, and then you would purchase a domain that way, and that would give you the, the space, and then you'd do stuff with it with a host. Yep. Yes, Izzy, Mathorial.com is still available, so we got to add that real quick before it's a problem for us. I mean, if it is a problem, I just won't buy it because I don't actually care, but oh, it would be nice. Well, yeah. It's just nice to be able to have, like, a redirect. Yeah, oh, that's a good point, a redirect. Yeah, so Mathorial.com redirects to MathorialComic.com. That, that would be the idea. So if someone accidentally typed it, they would be able to find us pretty easily. And then we'll buy Mathorial, like, Mathorial.com, Mathorial.com, <laughs> Mathorial.com. Like, Google with, like, eight, up to, like, 25 O's. Google. <sighs> yes, Izzy, if you want to ha- take a look at that, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> oh, it's it's five minutes till that half hour was up. I'm going to draw one more, and then I think we should wind down. Yeah, has it been a little easier to do? Much easier. I'm really glad. It would help if my marker Marker. would do the thing. We definitely should, um, on Twitter, put out some tweets really being like, we're almost tonight. We're on our way to ninety five thousand. Take a look. Take a look. We need to get those out there because uh, agreed. Right now, it's hard to like think of the goal that way when you don't see it actively. So I think we should do some of those. Yeah, we're gonna be chilling today. How much our dinner plans are? We'll figure it out. Uh, Ryan will be here at six thirty. Um, we can either like aim to have, although I think he's probably eaten dinner, so it's really just us. So we can probably just like either make a hello fresh or like eggs nice we'll make something tasty because i don't know about you but i'm fucking tired me too i'm very very worn out we've had quite a time <laughs> and it's been a fun fantastic time well holy moly i am so tired yeah, I'm very excited, y'all, about finally, uh, you know, returning to uh, the comic itself and on story breaking and just helping the comic run because we've still been doing it, but we've been doing, having to kind of do it half because we're also doing Kickstarter and stuff, and it's been really, really tiring. So it'll be nice to focus on that. Uh, of course, uh, what do you got, Holy Peanut? Yeah, answer a question. Or I ask your question. Unless the question is requires a spoiler for Tamerlane, in which case, probably won't give it an answer, <laughs> which happens a lot. People are like, so. Where does Tamerlane come from? I'm like that. You, you're the old, you're the one. We're gonna answer the question now. They do celebrate birthdays and their birthdays. I will grab them right now. They I believe the are on the website. Yes, they're on the website, but I will grab them in this particular case because it's easy for me to do. In the future, if you want to know that information, the cast page has a lot of information. Uh, birthday unknown. Oh yeah, that's fair. We don't know. I mean, we don't know Tamberley's birthday, but I believe her. That's God. true. How would Bowie possibly know that? Right. Her... I didn't think about that. Oh my God, that's so funny. Her gotcha day though would be sometime in spring. Uh, Belfry's birthday is March twelfth, and now I have decided here on stream that at some point I want to reveal Tamberley's birthday, original birthday. Cause I think it's actually a really sweet thing to think about. Is like, it's kind of like that isn't actually an uncommon thing people have dealt with. Where like. Especially in, like, countries where, like, records are destroyed. Yeah. My grandmother wasn't sure of her original birth year. So, there you go. Tamerlane does not we know her birth year. Late, but I wanted to congratulate you all. Happy Kickstarter success. Thanks, Scoot. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are wonderful. Um, we can tell you that Tamerlane is... Uh, so, March 12th is Belfry's. Tamerlane was born... Is currently four years old. As of chapter four, she was three when she was found. It's been a year and a half since the beginning. So I, I would returned. estimate that her birthday was probably sometime well. in the spring. Is that right? Yes. Sometime in the spring. Pro- can I promise that is true? Might not be true. Sometime around there. We'll arbitrarily decide what it is when we decide to at some point. Oh, I know what it is. You know what it is? Oh, I know what it is. You know her birthday? I do. You're going to tell me on the stream's over. Of course I'm going to hey, tell you. Y'all, I'm going to know her birthday in like 15 minutes. Yeah, this is what's fun about being a co-writer. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, I, I ain't telling you what size the planet is. It's, it's planet-sized. The size of the planet is pl- the planet size. 
It's it's pla- It's a size it would need to be for Belfry to be the size she is according to, in proportion to the planet. Correct. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Don't, don't let me, me down. down. Have you seen that documentary yet? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, you gotta watch it. It's like three parts on uh, Disney Plus. It's the Beatles one, and they, in part of it, they found that the original documentary that they basically used footage from had planted a microphone hidden in a flower pot in the room that John and Paul went in to have a private discussion about the future of the band, and no one had ever revealed the recording before. So you get to hear the two of them just talk about the band. And it's oh like, wow! Oh my god, it's so good. And you see like half, like eight different songs a moment that they invented them. It's so good. Beatles are good. I like the Beatles. Don't say what, Izzy? What did I say? Oh, how big the planet needs to be for Belfry to be the size that she is. I think that's what she's referring to. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I need to rest. Um, but I've had a great time with you guys. It has been a blast getting to spend the time to hang out with you guys and just, like, get some of these done and celebrate the Kickstarter and just kind of have a nice chill party, listen to some banging tunes. Um, thank you so much. And oh, yay, Sylvie Sil- Lee. I am really glad that we were able to help with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna wind it up now. Yeah, we, were gonna, we put four hours as a possible marker, but we ended up basically saying, we'll just know as long as we have the energy for it. That, the answer is up till just about now. Yep. So. Thank you for joining our stream. There you go. See, one more song for all of y'all. Just to find bringing it across the Atlantic. Totally. It wasn't totally un- not worth it. <laughs> uh, yes, The Courier in the Hollow Tree. I believe that this is being written by somebody on Fox Club, in fact. Um, there's a couple of Fallout Tamburlaine crossovers happening in, in uh, Fox Club. It's awesome. That's very cool. I wait. I await the day there are mothorial fan fictions with bated breath. I look forward Ooh, to it yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah. It'll be a lot easier once we start expanding the world. Because mm-hmm. right now it's like I can write myself in this tiny little town, but right, yeah. things will expand. It took a really long time for Tamberlane to get to a story point where there's anything of interest to write about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're gonna go like rest and lay flat for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I imagine that's true. Uh, it is on the Fox Club server. You can probably find the person. Look up the career and the whatever, hollow tree. And the hollow tree. Yep. Um, it's somewhere in the Fox Club fan works. Uh, all right. Thanks, you guys. Have a lovely day. Uh, I hope you're awesome. I love you. Bye. Izzy, the answer is Glorps. They are now like a horse people. There you go. I did it. That's not true. That's not canon. It's canon. Go, go, no.